Chapter 281. Plan B Wang Wei sat in the refining room with a 10-meter glowing white gray string floating in front of him. With meticulous care, he inscribed one last rune on it. He sighed before muttering. Although it took me 50 years, I finally finished. The string first expanded under his control until it occupied the entire room, then it returned to its original size. Then, the single strings turned into ten, hundred, a thousand. It kept doubling up until the number reached a few billion. After that, Wang Wei controlled the strings to make different shapes, he first made a sword, then a spear, followed by a pagoda and a cauldron. It seems that choosing the strings was the right choice as it can serve as a multi-purpose artifacts. Furthermore, I can feel that each shape wields a different ability. After making sure that nothing was wrong with his proven Dao artifact, Wang Wei placed it inside his sea of consciousness. Since the artifact was linked to his Dao, and in turn his soul, it did not have any problem resting there. After getting something to drink, he took a little walk around, dominating Fate Mountain, which was the mountain given to him when he became the Sacred Sun. He nodded his head to all the maids bold enough to say hello to him, he visited the demonic beasts hall where many powerful beasts were being raised. To his surprise, he discovered a Jiaolong, which was a subspecies of true dragons. In the myriad emperor world, this kind of demonic race is actually quite rare and valuable. Meanwhile, Wang Wei had one in his mountain and did not even know about it. He was a little ashamed of how little time he spent on this mountain, or interact with the people. As for the demonic beasts, since he usually has Yan Chen take him directly to places, he rarely used them for traveling. After checking the demonic beast hall, he visited the garden. Once again, he was surprised at how valuable the things planted there were. Saint tier herbs were everywhere, along with a few dozen supreme tier ones. He even saw a few quasi emperor herbs. It was during these moments that Wang Wei realized how privileged he was. Any resources he wanted, he just had to ask and someone would bring it to him. He is so rich that he does not even know how much his garden is worth. Nevertheless, he still accepted this kind of blessing. As Wang Wei walked around the garden, he felt rejuvenated, peaceful. He felt at home. He knew that this feeling was the result of refining the yellow chi soil into his spleen granting him a greater affinity with the earth and spiritual herbs. He could also guess that his alchemy also increased, at least the part that need to identify, process, and mixing herbs. After he visited the entire mountain, he chose a spot with a beautiful view, made himself some tea to relax. Unfortunately for him, not long after he sat down, he saw Li Jun rushing to the Li family mountain with blood all over his clothes, so he had to call him over. Big brother, are you out of seclusion? Yes, just got out. What's with all the blood on your clothes? These? They're not mine. I know this, I'm asking why they are on you. Big brother, you might not know, things have been a little crazy lately. After you enter seclusion, me, Tai Gand, Liling, and even Wang Ju entered seclusion as well to use the Tao orbs to enlighten and maybe create our own cultivation techniques. The sect even brought us to a secret realm where time was sped up. However, after we left, the disciples were in terrible shapes, the majority of them were beaten up and the overall moralis was very low. Wang Wei frowned for a moment, then he said, could it be those top 30 heaven chosens? That's right. Using their immortality, these people, knowing that we do not have anyone on the list, challenged us with no remorse for their lives. Although those guys who used to be contemporary sacred sun put up a decent fight, there was little they could do since their opponents could not die. So, you were fighting these people? Yes. After I left seclusion, I begin to fight these guys. However, no matter how many times I killed them, they will just healed instantly and keep coming back. In the end, I had to ask for help from Taigang and Liling. So, how did you deal with the situation? Asked Wang Wei. We no longer played fair. We used a large army to surround anyone who challenged our sect. Liling used a pill to increase the pain of these challengers, and we killed them over and over. Wang Ju even used some of the fate shadows to assassinate these people day and night. Even then, they did not give up. These guys seemed to want to use the process of constant death to temper themselves. What about the top ten like Lin Fan and Jian Wushuang, did they come to challenge us? Asked Wang Wei. Thank heavens no, otherwise, I would be helpless. Any news about these people's movement? Young master, let me tell you about it, said Wang Ju, who just landed in front of the two. There is two great news that occurred in the past 50 years. 
The first one was the fact that Lin Fan challenged Su Ya again, and won easily. How is that great news? He did not stop there. After that, he challenged all the other members of the top 30, and he won. Whether it was Jian Wushuang, Mo Xingyun, or Fang Luan, he won against them all. Wang Wei took a sip of his tea, that indeed can be qualified as great news. Did he challenge me? No, it seems that his guy finally became more intelligent, more patient. What about the other people I ask you to keep an eye on? DTN returned to the Western continent. Unfortunately, any attempt we made into infiltrating the D clan's domains fail. That also goes for the sect master's shadow. As such, we have concluded that he has a spy agency unlike anything in the world and that he most likely have infiltrated the upper echelons of many factions, including ours. Although this is currently only speculations at this point. Wang Wei pondered for a moment, then he said, I have a way to investigate this later. What about the other people? Gen Biu is still in the Five Elements Palace. A few years ago, the Taiyi Profound Gate announced that Feng Heng was the first person after more than 200 generations to successfully cultivate the absolute beginning art. However, he also has not left the sect since the announcement. Lu Meishou seems to be secretly looking for something in the northern black tortoise continent, and she might even be hiding it from the Raising Herd Valley, or at least trying to. Nodding his head, Wang Wei then said, I'm guessing that the second big news has to do with the war Sun Zhaolong started against the great Zhou Imperial Dynasty? Young master, how did you know? Wang Wei just smiled and did not answer her. When he read Sun Zhaolong's fate line, he knew that the latter planned this war as soon as Ji Song died. After Wang Zhu explained the situation to him, Wang Wei pondered how he could take advantage of this war. If he plays his cards right, he might benefit quite a lot. However, now was not the time to intervene. What about the secret realm that contained the Glutinae swallowing scripture? With the information I gave them, they should have found it by now? Asked Wang Wei. Yes, we did, unfortunately, the Mo clan also discovered it at the same time. So, we have been negotiating with them on how to best use it. They seemed very concerned with it, and even prepared to fight us all out for this secret realm. Tell the sect to give up the benefits, in exchange, have Mo Xingyun signed a contract that she will hand over a copy of the scripture after acquiring it. Wang Ju frowned, young master, why? A secret realm like this should have some benefits to us. The Mo clan is trying to trick us. If I'm not mistaken, this secret realm is designed for only the devil race or people full of sins and negative karma. So, no one from the sect, including me, might not be able to enter even if we tried and if we manage to do so, it might be a trap. Wang Wei remembered that the person who gave Mo Xingyun the news said that if he could acquire the scripture on his own, he would. Have the sect ask the Mo clan to send people to inspect the secret realm and take note of their reaction. If they react too strongly, then my deduction is correct. I will pass this on. Is there anything else? Asked Wang Ju. Yes. What about the search for the innate fire material? Any news? Unfortunately, no the elders have suggested that you use an emperor tier material instead of wasting time waiting. Is that so? In that case, it's time to use plan B go send a challenge invitation to Lin Fan, ordered Wang Wei. Chapter 282, Earth Stage. Although Wang Wei just got out of seclusion, he still went back in to prepare for the fight against Lin Fan. He was confident that he would win but still decided to take it seriously. After all, a lion has to use all his strength even when hunting a rabbit. After sitting in the lotus position, Wang Wei began to check his body in cultivation. Since the ancient desolate body refining scripture allowed him to temper his body, the human stage of the divine body realm means little to him. Nevertheless, there are notes on this scripture explaining how to take advantage of his cultivation realm to further temper the body. According to traditional medicine theories, the human body has five jong organs and six fu organs, which are also connected to one another. The five jong organs are the heart, lungs, kidneys, livers, and spleen. The six fu organs are the small intestine, the large intestine, gallbladder, urinary bladder, stomach, and lastly, san jiao also known as triple energizer. Additionally, the organs follow the theory of yin and yang and the five elements balance. The jong organs are yin in nature, while the fu organs are yang in nature. The heart, fire, is connected to the small intestine, the lung, metal, is connected to the large intestine, the liver, wood, is connected to the gallbladder, 
the spleen, earth, is connected to the stomach, and the kidney, water, is connected to the urinary bladder. According to the ancient desolate body refining scripture, Wang Wei has to temper all his Zhang organs to perfection, then the energy of these organs will in turn strengthen the Fu organs. However, many people of the past that have cultivated this scripture found it more useful to use the divine body realm to actually temper the Fu organs, thus further strengthening the fleshly body to a more powerful and perfect state. So, that's what Wang Wei did during his retreat on top of refining his proven Tao artifact. Now that he succeeded in his task, he can now step into the earth stage of the divine body realm. In this stage, cultivators have to use their good fortunate flame to open their nine orifices, which are the eyes, nose, ears, tongue, external genitals, and anus. Of course, the orifices are not referring to these body parts, but to hidden gates in the human body located in these locations. These gates are like restrictions or inhibitors in the human body, and by opening them, humans can slowly uncover their potential and ascend to higher beings or life forms. Additionally, the process of opening these gates is a way of cleansing the spirit until it reaches a state where it is one with the world, where it can process the way that the natural world functions and develops. After closing his eyes, Wang Wei soon discovered nine doors inside his body, located in the places of the orifices, that were glowing. However, he soon discovered that one of his gates seemed weaker than the others and he knew the reason for that. The nine orifices are linked to the Zhang organs. Without properly tempering them in the human stage, cultivators are unable to open the orifices in the earth stage. As for him, his organs have been tempered beyond the required level. Nevertheless, his heart, without absorbing the needed material, does not equal in strength to his other organs, hence the reason that the orifice linked to it is so weak compared to the others. So, he ignored that one for now and focused on the other ones. According to his knowledge, these nine orifices can also be open with spiritual qi between heaven and earth, but it is better to use the good fortune flame. Wang Wei began to open the gates to the ears, genitals, and anus orifices. The reason was that these orifices are linked to the kidney, so it is possible to open them all in a very short period of time. After slamming open the gate in the ears orifice, mysterious energy rushed out to baptize Wang Wei's entire body. The process only lasted for a brief moment, but immediately afterward, Wang Wei could hear things a few kilometers away. It took him a moment to control that ability. After opening his genital orifice, his primordial yang energy dramatically increased, thus further increasing his blood energy, thus, in turn, increasing the strength of his fleshly body. Of course, the only thing in his mind after that was, maybe I can finally keep up with the wife. Oh, how hard it is to be and have a powerful girlfriend. Lastly, Wang Wei opened his anus orifice. Now, he is no longer required to defecate anymore. Although this kind of thing was no longer applicable to him before, that was only because of spiritual qi and the fact that his stomach could process all the nutrients he took in. Now, he just had the natural ability or instinct not to ever go to the bathroom again. By the time Wang Wei was finished, a month had already passed and it was time for his battle with Lin Fan. After looking at the changes that occurred in his body, Wang Wei muttered, not bad. Of course, he was just being ridiculous. The speed at which he opened these orifices is unheard of. This is a process that usually takes decades if not hundreds of years. The only reason that he could open three in just one month was because of how powerful his body is and because he used all the accumulation he had beforehand. In the future, the process will not be so easy. Although he will be faster than most of his peers, it will still not be that fast. After leaving his seclusion, he headed straight for the fighting site. For protection reasons, this battle did not take place in any of the domains belonging to either of these factions. Lin Fan looked at Wang Wei standing across from him with a serious look on his face. Wait, thought Lin Fan to himself. His aura, that's the aura of the earth stage of the divine body realm. I just finished tempering my skin in the human stage, how come he's already in the earth stage? His mind rapidly calculated, it should be because of his fleshly body. It should have been tempered to withstand the power of law long ago. In that case, should I rush to quickly go through the human stage? No, I need to establish a firm foundation. The final destination of all of us is to become great emperor, and without the heaven wool, the highest cultivation level we can reach is the quasi-emperor realm. So, it doesn't matter who gets there first. Lin Fan took a deep breath to rein his thoughts and calm himself down. According to the academy, 
Wang Wei is a person that does everything with a purpose, so there must be a reason for him to challenge me out of nowhere. I need to discover that purpose, while at the same time try to gauge his level of strength. Meanwhile, Wang Wei also checked out his opponent, he could see a level of calmness and confidence that was not there before. I'm surprised that you accepted my challenge despite knowing that you have no chance of winning. I thought you would say something like you will accept my challenge 10 years from now, then go on an adventure to get stronger. After countless life and death situations, your strength would have reached an unimaginable level. Then, you will defeat me and reclaim your lost honor. Wait, said Wang Wei as he crossed his left arm and placed his right hand under his chin. Then, he started caressing his non-existing beard. I think I got it all confused. This only happens after the villain easily defeats the main protagonist and beats him like a dead dog. So, this should happen after the fight. Then, Wang Wei seemed to realize something. Why am I the villain in this scenario? If there is going to be a protagonist then, it should be. As for Lin Fan, he should be one of the lesser villains that shows how awesome I am to the reader. Meanwhile, the few spectators in this battle were quite speechless, especially Lin Fan. The odd thing was that he knew that he could actually say something like that if he lost the match. Once again taking a deep breath to calm down, Lin Fan said, If you are trying to rile me up before the match, don't waste your time. I've learned from my mistake. Is that so? replied Wang Wei. But that will still not change the fact that you will lose miserably today. Any battle is constantly changing, so there is no 100% guarantee that a person will win. Plus, so what if I lose? Just like Ji Song used to say, one failure means nothing to us. The only thing that truly matters is who gets to sit in that throne at the very end. Ha ha! laughed Wang Wei out loud. You are correct. I have to say, my evaluation of you has risen after this encounter. Nevertheless, come get this ass whooping. Meanwhile, Yan Chen secretly shook his head after hearing this. His young master can be as graceful as a sovereign, as overbearing as a tyrant, as prose as a sage or as vulgar as a street vagabond. Well, I guess his personality fits his pursuit of being free and unfettered. If he desires, he can be all these things or none of them. Chapter 283. Heart. As soon as the fight began, Lin Fan activated his innate talent, thus entering the state of chaos demon god body. His body turned into a deep and profound black hue with stars or worlds shining all over. A similar aura also surrounding him, making him look even more mighty and unlike previously, a black crown was on his head. The crown was decorated with 3,000 different animals carved on them. And this was not all his preparation. He also used his vision to amplify his ability. So with his transformation and large vision, Lin Fan was prepared and laser focused for this battle. Unfortunately, it was useless. Using, Fate Escape. Wang Wei instantly appeared in front of him like a sneaking shadow, then punched him. Boom. Lin Fan's ribs were shattered, then he turned into a stream of light as he was sent flying, crashing into a mountain and destroying it. After landing, his ear started ringing, his vision blurred, and he could taste dirt in his mouth. In just a split second, Lin Fan's mind worked rapidly, and he came to the conclusion that he was not a match for Wang Wei's speed, so he took action. He suddenly turned into a giant fish with two wings longer than the largest continent on Earth. More importantly, this transformation still looked like his chaos demon god body transformation. With a flop of his wings, the birdfish instantly appeared in front of Wang Wei from a few thousand kilometers. Then, the bird opened his mouth and inhaled. This simple movement caused the entire deserted mountainous area to shake. Mountains were moved from the grounds and swallowed by this attack, and it was not just them. The grounds underneath, the clouds in the sky, and even the very fabric of space were broken and swallowed by this fish bird's mouth. The only exception being Wang Wei. He looked at the gigantic creature in front of him that was covering most of the sky and muttered, the mythical creature Kunpeng. I thought this kind of creature no longer exists in the myriad emperor world along with dragons and phoenixes? He looked around and noticed that he was standing in the void since the space around him was swallowed. Ordinary divine body cultivators might only survive in this environment until their origin essence runs out, or until they were pulverized by the chaotic space. However, he was perfectly fine. Then, he moved. The swallowing force of the Kunpeng, which was similar to a black hole, had little effect on him. He appeared on top of the beast and threw another punch. World-breaking fist. 
A powerful vibration that could destroy a small thousand world manifested from that single small fist. However, this time around, Lin Fan reacted in time. Two strange arms grew from the Kunpeng's back and blocked the attack. Additionally, Wang Wei felt that his fist was hindered by countless layers of space. Boom. A powerful shockwave traveled for kilometers after their clash. Unfortunately, after resisting for a few seconds, the Kunpeng was sent crashing on the ground, then it spewed a big mouthful of blood. Meanwhile, Wang Wei had a frown on his face. Is he using Emperor Kong's myriad things change art to control or transform all 3,000 Daos? Wang Wei once read about Emperor Kong's ascension. After proving the Dao, he muttered these famous words to the entire world. Dao of transformation, turning all impossible into possible, and all possible to impossible, all unknowns to knowns, and all knowns to unknowns, all emptiness to fullness, and all fullness to emptiness. The endless cycle from static to change, that's my Dao, and you can call me Emperor Kong. Although Wang Wei could see that Lin Fan is currently using the most basic powers of such a Dao, it still allows him to turn into a mythical beast and retain the power or innate ability of that beast. Meanwhile, Lin Fan, who was severely injured on the ground, quickly acted. A white light flashed from his body and his injuries were healed. However, he quickly reverted to his original form, only with two wings still on his back. In such a short moment, this guy used the Dao of Transformation. Dao of life, and the Dao of space, thought Wang Wei. Let's see how many more he can use to such a high level. So, he rushed towards Lin Fan. However, midway through, a dazzling white light flew from the latter's entire body and rushed towards Wang Wei. Surprised at the speed of this attack, he quickly raised his right hand and blocked the beam, forcing it to separate into two with him in the middle. The beam was so powerful that it forced him a few meters backward in the air. Once the attack stopped, Wang Wei looked at his palm that was only left with his skeleton. He then raised his head and saw how the clouds in the sky were completely gone. Dao of destruction. He muttered as he watched his muscles and skin regrew. Meanwhile, Lin Fan was panting heavily after this attack. And if his face was visible under the demon god transformation, it would look very ugly right now. This was one of his most powerful attacks. With the perfect timing, he thought he could injure his opponent and slow him down but it was proven to be useless. And now, his origin essence was running out. After his hand healed, Wang Wei looked at Lin Fan and thought, has he already reached his limit? Well, it should be that his origin essence is not enough for him to use all of these different Daos. This fact can be considered a weakness of him which can be exploited if needed. Alright since he is reaching his limit, it's time to get to business. Using his fleshly body's ability to break space, Wang Wei instantly appeared in front of Lin Fan again. This time, before he could react, Wang Wei kicked both his kneecaps. The sound of bones broke echoed in the surrounding, soon followed by the sound of screaming. Then, Wang Wei held Lin Fan's both arms and ripped them apart, making blood overflowing from his torso. However, he did not stop there. He held the guy's head and also ripped it from his body along with his spine intact. He waved his hand and threat appeared and cut off Lin Fan's body from the waist down. Finally, he plunged his hand into the upper torso and ripped his still beating heart from it. Holding the heart in his hand, Wang Wei waved his hand and placed a seal on it before putting it away in his space ring. He then placed Lin Fan's arms, legs, and heads into his space ring, leaving only the upper torso on the ground. After something like that, you would think that Lin Fan was dead. No, he was not. The Heavenly Dao Protection Book activated and all his missing parts regrew from his torso. Even his soul that was attached to his head was brought from Wang Wei's space ring and placed on the new body. During the entire process, Wang Wei was observing to try to learn something, but he failed. After being revived, Lin Fan looked at Wang Wei with a furious look and said, You were after my body. No, to be precise, you were after the chaos chi in my heart. You probably need it to cultivate the ancient desolate body refining scripture. Do you want a prize for figuring this out? Then, he ignored him and motioned for Yan Chen to leave. Since he got what he wanted, there was no need to waste time here. Although the people of the academy were furious, they only watched him leave. Before this battle, they told Lin Fan that if he wins, he needed to diff the devil god bones from Wang Wei's body. Unfortunately, it was them who lost suffered once again. After returning to the sect, Wang Wei saw Wu Hong drinking tea and waiting for him. So, 
He rushed to hug her from the back and kiss her on the cheek. I've missed you. So have I, replied Wu Hong as she raised her unoccupied hand to caress his hair. How was your fight? Disappointing. Shouldn't you have expected this outcome? Asked Wu Hong as she slurped her tea. I did, but I thought he would put a better fight. You know, I found out this guy was not even a true body refiner, so even though he was stronger than Ji Song, he was not as resilient. Well, this can be expected. The absolute chaos physique provides its owner with a powerful physique on par with most average body refiners. So they do not have to suffer all the pains of body refiners while having all the benefits. So, Lin Fan probably thought that this was enough for him. However, after this fiasco, he should learn from his mistake. Wang Wei nodded his head. During this fight, he realized that Lin Fan had a tremendous amount of potential. If it was not because of his current immortality, Wang Wei would have taken this chance to kill him once and for all. So, where have you been the past few years? I heard that you left the sect after I enter seclusion. Chapter 284 Five Elements Balance I want to make sure that some trouble will not suddenly manifest before you grow up, replied Wu Hong. Wang Wei pondered for a moment, trouble? Besides DTN, I do not have any troubles, did you beat him up? I'm not talking about him. Then, what are you talking about it? Or is it some kind of secret that you cannot tell me? It's not that serious, replied Wu Hong. I've been going around further strengthen the seals of the Forbidden Lands, make sure that none of these things came out to cause trouble. Wang Wei frowned, are they going to be a problem? After you become an eternal emperor, the majority of them will not be. However, the nether hell is different, so you have to be extremely careful as he already noticed your paragon soul. However, I used my innate talent to place an absolute seal there, so it should be fine for some time. Wang Wei nodded, then asked, couldn't you deal with them? Wu Hong turned around to look him in the eyes, if you want me to, I will. Although I would pay a steep price, I don't mind. However, do you really want me to clean your mess for you? Forget it. I still have some pride left. I'll deal with them myself when the time comes. That's more like it, said Wu Hong as she kissed him. By the way, what price would you pay exactly? You would never see me again. At least until you become an emperor and leave this world. Don't say such scary things, said Wang Wei quickly, as he wrapped his arms around her, hugging her tightly as if he would never let go, for all eternity. After spending some time with her, Wang Wei then entered seclusion once again. With a wave of his hand, three different piles floated in front of him. One part was Lin Fan's arms, legs, and head. Another was his heart, and the last one a strange red seed. He took out a cauldron and placed the body parts inside, then a white flame appeared in his hand, he began to purify Lin Fan's body. A few days later, Wang Wei opened the lid of the cauldron. Inside of it was a black floating orb. Nodding in satisfaction, he removed the orb and placed Lin Fan's heart inside. Just like he previously did with the body parts, he purified the heart. However, the finished product was not a floating orb, but a transparent heart with a strange and mysterious qi flowing inside. Wang Wei took at the heart, the black orb, and red seed placed them in front of him. With a chaos fragment of law, a heart imbued with chaos qi, and an emperor tier fire seed, I should be able to create a pseudo chaos fire that is on par if not greater than any innate fire material. After that, Wang Wei activated a formation. This formation was similar to the one he used to create his heavenly physique but was modified slightly to fit the occasion. He also took out a few mountain size origin source as energy. However, Wang Wei still noticed that the process was rather slow, so he continued to add mountain worth of origin source. Anyway, he had minds of these things. Three months later, the process finally ended. In front of Wang Wei appeared a translucent flame. To be precise, this flame appeared that way only when people glance normally at it. However, if they focused, they would see that the flame is constantly changing color. For a moment, it was red, then it instantly changed to green, to blue. The process seemed eternal and infinite. It seems that I succeeded, muttered Wang Wei. This flame looked exactly like the one the flame emperor was famous for. However, I'm luckier than him. To cultivate his chaos flame, he had to fuse countless origin flames, while I only needed two emperor tier materials and chaos law fragment. Of course, Wang Wei knew that his flame was nowhere near as powerful as the flame emperor. Nevertheless, he still had room to grow. 
Wang Wei grabbed the chaos flame and absorbed it into his heart. The process was easy and instant. Immediately afterward, five colors of green, yellow, red, white, and dark blue appeared in front of him, they turned into a perfect circle before entering Wang Wei's body. Then, he felt all his organs promoting and restricting one another, in perfect harmony. What a great feeling, muttered Wang Wei, to the point of almost moaning. I feel complete. Liberated. He then checked the orifice connected to his heart organ, and he saw that the gate was glowing with the same intensity as the others. This fact made Wang Wei very happy as this meant that his chaos flame had the same quality as his other innate materials. Luckily, this plan works, otherwise, I would have to activate my ability to become a son of destiny. Before I figure out the issue of Heavenly Tao, I will not use it lightly. Wang Wei clenched his hand, causing the space around him to break. As he felt the few trillions or more of pure physical strength of his fleshly body, he suddenly had an impulse. So, he followed it and went to challenge his father. A few hours later, Wang Wei returned to his mountain. There, he saw Wu Hong waiting for him with a smirk on her face. So, how bad did you lose? She asked while looking at her Dao companion's pale face. I did not even make it past ten sword strike, replied Wang Wei with gritted teeth. This bastard did not even go easy on me. If it was not for my new ability I awakened after tempering my organs, I would probably not survive more than five swords. You got what you deserve. Didn't grandfather tell you that father-in-law once survived under his attacks for an entire day? I didn't think that this was an impressive feat. After all, I'm used to fighting realms above myself. Wu Hong shook his head. The difference between saint realm and supreme realm is far greater than you can imagine. There is a reason that true monarchs are referred to as being closest to the Tao. Additionally, grandfather is a quasi-emperor and not an ordinary one at that. So, you can imagine the battle strength of father-in-law. Wang Wei sighed as he knew that not only did he let his newfound strength go to his head, but also underestimated his old man. This was probably the reason that Wang Tian beat him so hard, to put him back in his place and remind him to stay grounded. With his current strength, he could probably wipe the floor with Bai Han. But he lost so easily against his father. Wang Wei has to admit that the level of respect he has for the old man rose quite a bit after this fight. Anyway. One day, I will dominate that old man and make his status in the family the absolute lowest, said Wang Wei. However, before that, I will take my revenge. Taking a talisman from his ring, he contacted someone. Mother, father beat me up. What? What's going on? Asked Yu Yan. I was minding my own business when he suddenly called me to have a spar, then he used all his strength to beat me up. I swear he was trying to kill me. You have to avenge your only son. He dares? Roared Yu Yan from the other side of the talisman. Don't worry, I'll deal with him myself. As for you, I will prepare a healing bath for you at home, so come by. No problem. Wang Wei smirked after cutting the communication. As for Wu Hong, she just secretly prayed for her father-in-law. Back a few months ago after the battle, Lin Fan laid alone on top of a pavilion, drinking wine. He seemed to want to drink his sorrow away. Soon, he heard footsteps approaching him. Despite not looking back, he could recognize who it was. What is it, Sheer? I just wanted to make sure you were okay, replied Shi Shi. I'm not as fragile as you'd think. To be honest, I expected to lose the fight, just did not expect to lose so badly. Shi Shi nodded her head, then sat next to him, but she did not say anything, she just took her zither to play a calming tune. I never expected the gap between us to be so vast. He and DTN are truly on another level. One secret that only the Academy knew was the fact that Lin Fan also challenged DTN, and he was defeated in just one punch. That failure almost broke him. Luckily, he managed to get over it and sublimated his mind and Tao heart in the process. Husband, since the failure of this battle did not affect you much, why are you sulking? I'm not sulking. I'm pondering on how to decrease the gap between these two. Honestly speaking, I do not think that the Academy's method will be of much use. I need some extreme measures. Then, the two fell silent with only the sound of music riveting in the surrounding. Then, Shi Shi suddenly stopped and said. There may be a way. Chapter 285, Sleepers. Lin Fan stopped drinking and looked at the hesitating look on Shi Shi's face. His eyebrows raised slightly before saying. If you have something to say, then do so. 
there is no need to have any reservation between us. Despite hearing these words, Shi Shi still hesitated for a brief moment, then she explained. There is something called the slaughter trial. It is a place created by an eternal emperor where heaven chosen from many different world communities are sent in one place to slaughter one another. As a result of this, the resources available there are unimaginable. The last survivor of this trial is usually considered as a potential eternal emperor. Lin Fan pondered for a moment. This trial sounds like the Spirit Road trial. So, which eternal emperor created it? And why have I never heard of it? It's indeed like the Spirit Road trial, replied Shi Shi. Except that there is no restriction on cultivation level. As for who created this trial, I do not know as it was a foreign eternal emperor. You mean an eternal emperor from a different heaven will world than the myriad emperor world? That's correct. The reason that you have never heard of this trial is because of how far it is from our world, so few people have even been chosen from our world to participate. Few. Meaning there have been people who participated. So how did they do it? Once in a while, a random token will be sent to our world, and the destined individual might acquire it, added Shi Shi. Recently, our Chamber of Commerce acquired one token from a lucky individual. That's good news. If I can participate in this trial, my strength can increase by leaps and bounds. I can finally close the gap with these two. Husband, you should understand how dangerous this trial actually is. In the end, of all the countless heaven chosens participating from hundreds of heaven will world, only one person will remain standing. Lin Fan calmed down after hearing this as he hesitated. He could only imagine how powerful the people participating in this trial would be. There might be a few scary monsters like Wang Wei and DTN there. However, Lin Fan gritted teeth. As I said before, I need an extreme measure. After making his mind, Lin Fan immediately contacted his teacher and Dao protector, Chu Jin, to tell him about his decision. And knowing the severity of this situation, Chu Jin contacted the new headmaster to make a decision. After a few days of arguing, they supported Lin Fan to participate in the trial. After receiving the token from Shi Shi, Lin Fan bid goodbye to his wives, concubines, and family. Then, he activated it. Instantly, he disappeared and appeared somewhere else. Looking at his surroundings, Lin Fan found himself in a city with countless people walking around. And as soon as he arrived, people also noticed him as he was basically in the center of the city. The first thing that Lin Fan noticed was the fact that the aura of the people around was weird and strange. After a brief moment, he realized it was because the cultivation system of these people was completely different from his origin path system. While Lin Fan was checking the people around him, they were doing the same to him. A new unlucky fellow. Muttered one person. Looking at his aura, his cultivation seems to be grade 5. Well, at least he is not at the bottom in this trial. I wonder what world he is from. A few minutes after arriving, a golden light came from Lin Fan's body and rushed to the sky. Then, a list appeared that was visible to all the people in different cities of the trial. Lin Fan. Absolute Chaos Physique. Myriad Emperor World, ranked 3876. Many people watching this were surprised. Another absolute chaos physique? That's like the eighth to appear in this trial. Why are you surprised? Don't you know that the top three heavenly physiques are the same for all world communities? I know that, but it still is weird. Not really. What I really care about is the other information. With his grade 5 cultivation level, he can still rank in the top 5000. This shows that this guy is not a simple role. Well, he is from the Myriad Emperor world and most likely cultivated the Origin Path system. Although the cultivation speed of this system is slow, the strength of its people is nothing to laugh at. Additionally, the amount of lifespan that each realm grants them is also decent compared to some systems like martial art. That's true. The Myriad Emperor world can be considered one of the most powerful heaven will world and on the list of worlds with the most eternal emperor they are ranked in the top three. Even that vile nine devil god world was finally annihilated in their hands. Meanwhile, Lin Fan secretly listened to these conversations and was shocked. He sighed as he finally understood how vast the world truly is and how insignificant he is compared to it. Even his most proud absolute chaos physique is nothing extraordinary in the endless void. After sighing to himself, he headed in the direction of his residence based on the information he just received in his mind. Back to the present, in the eastern Azure Dragon continent. In a specific domain, there were five extremely large palaces arranged in the shape of a pentagon. 
Each palace had a different color between green, deep blue, white, yellow, and red, and the names of different elements were written on these palaces. The different characters in the palace contained different profound meanings. For example, the character for fire in the fire palace contained Tao rhymes related to the fire element. If someone is talented enough, they can understand the laws of fire just by looking at it. And the same goes for the earth, water, metal, and wood palace. Oddly though, in the middle of the Pentagon, there was no luxurious palace decorated with precious gems or materials. No white cranes were dancing in the sky, no peaceful and immortal-like music echoing in the surrounding like in the other palace. At the center was a small wooden cabin, and inside was a girl dressed in plain and ordinary Taoist robe, and this was not the only thing ordinary about her. She did not have a heavenly beautiful face that could make gods and immortals envy, nor did she exude any powerful aura, she looked plain and simple. Suddenly, the girl opened her eyes from her meditation. Her eyes were extremely clear and pure, devoid of filth or taint. She looked in one direction while muttering. Innate five elements balance? It seems to be coming from the central continent. Then the girl, who was the number six five elements balance physique, Gen Biu, took out a talisman from the only ornament on her body, a black ring. For the next few minutes, she talked to someone through a communication talisman. It seems that I have to take a trip to the Tao opening sect. Meanwhile, back in the Tao opening sect, after getting his father into deep trouble, Wang Wei started to do his work. He flew straight into the sky and took out his proven Tao artifact. He controlled the strings to turn them into a mirror. Under his control, the mirror expanded until it covered most of the peaks of the sect, focusing more on the ones with the disciples. However, the mirror was invisible, so only a few members of the upper echelons of the sect could see it. Under Wang Wei's order, a bright light flashed from the mirror and seemed to scan all the disciples. He then shrunk the mirror back to his original size as he began to watch something from it. It was the fate of many of these disciples. Under his control, Wang Wei managed to filter a lot of information very quickly until he discovered what he was looking for. He discovered that about a few hundred years ago, around the time that the Heaven Chosen Selection Trial began, many of the disciples, from different ranks, suddenly awakened strange memories, and after that, their personality changed. Although they all tried to hide this sudden change, it was noticeable if someone looked closely. After focusing on these disciples, Wang Wei learned that they were all reincarnated. To be precise, they are part of an elite intelligence group that referred to themselves as the Sleepers. After their death, they will reincarnate and then reawaken the memories of their past life. That way, they can infiltrate many factions without any suspicions. And before their death, they will leave records of all the information they gathered to their leader. Unfortunately, Wang Wei learned that these disciples' ranks were too low to know the identity of the leader, but Wang Wei could guess who it was, DTN. Chapter 286, Official Visit Wang Wei frowned after discovering these sleepers as he wondered how deep they infiltrated the sect. If even the sleeping ancestors have members of them, then this will become a big deal. And if those sleepers have also infiltrated other sects, well, Wang Wei cannot imagine how powerful their information-gathering abilities are. Moreover, he wondered how powerful DTN used to be able to reincarnate so many people at the same time. This is not something an ordinary Supreme Realm powerhouse can do. After making his discovery, Wang Wei called his father and grandfather, then told them of the situation. Wang Tian frowned deeply before asking, Can you find the ones in the upper echelons of the sect? Without the power of the law, I can only identify the ones that have strange fate lines without being backlash. However, if they do not resist, it will be much easier. In that case, I ordered them not to resist, said Wang Chong. I can talk to the Supreme Elders. The only issue now is whether any of our immortal venerables or Tao ancestors have been affected, said Wang Tian. I don't think we should worry about that. To become a Tao ancestor or immortal venerable, the help of a great emperor is needed. Even if these sleepers have the ability to hide from emperors, it should not be possible when they are so closely involved, added Wang Chong. In that case, let's begin the cleanup. Wouldn't it be better to just monitor these people and try to feed them false information? said Wang Wei. In normal circumstances, that would be ideal. However, if what you said is true, there is a high chance that our sect's emperor scriptures have been leaked. So, we need a safer approach to this situation. Soon after that, a cleansing took place in the Tao opening sect. 
All sects deacons, elders, great elders, and supreme elders were called in and ordered not to resist Wang Wei's probe in their fate lines. And those who resisted were immediately arrested. This cleansing did not stop there. All the Wang, Yan, and Li clan members were also searched, along with all the disciples. And for the first time, Wang Wei entered the secret world where the reserved members of the other families were located. It was then he finally understood how large the clan actually were especially the Wang family. The ones still remaining in the myriad emperor word are only the tip of the iceberg. And the cleansing did not stop there. Wang Tian and Wang Chong even brought Wang Wei to the ceiling hall of the sect, thus showing the true foundation of the sect. And he was truly shocked. Inside a darkly lit room, he saw countless coffins, and after checking their auras, he could not hide the surprise in his face. Wang Wei swore in his life that he had never seen so many supreme realm and saint powerhouses, it was enough to form an army of millions. However, he soon learned that many of these people have been sealed for countless millennia and their life force and blood energy have been exhausted. They will only wake up if the sect faces an extinction level catastrophe, and they will die after that. So, he started checking these people. Since they were sealed, their resistance was minimal to non-existent, after identifying the ones who had problems, they were taken out for interrogation. Tian Wei Peak. Wang Wei, Wang Chong, and Wang Tian were having another meeting. This time, they were accompanied by Great Elder Yan Mei and Great Elder Li Zhang, who were the patriarch of their respective clan. After being cleared of any suspicions, they were allowed to participate in the investigation. So, what was the result? Asked Wang Wei. Wang Tian sighed deeply, not as good as we expected. All these people committed suicide once we try to search their souls. What's worse, is that they completely destroyed their souls to the point of not even being able to reincarnate. The level of loyalty that they showed is truly scary. Not one of them hesitated to commit suicide, added Li Zhang. Wang Wei frowned as all their actions proved futile. No information was gathered by this cleansing. They did not even know for a certainty whether the leader of these people was indeed DTN. It was just his guess and intuition. How about our losses? Asked Wang Wei after regaining his thought. Not as much as expected, replied Yan Mei. However, according to our statistics, the majority of people caught were in fact members of the sectarian side, so they're the ones who suffered the most. As a matter, the number of people in our families who were reincarnated was very small. Is there a reason for that? Everyone shook their heads. After pondering for a while, Wang Wei asked Great Elder Yan Mei to show him the list of the sleepers caught. Wire, did you think of something? asked Wang Tian. After a quick scan of the lost, he replied, Yes. The number of people reincarnated from the Wang and Yan clan is the least of all the groups. All these people in the room are some of the most talented and gifted members of the sect in the past three generations, so they quickly understood his meaning. Eternal emperors? asked Yan Mei. That's right, replied Wang Wei. According to the information we have, DTN existed during the Emperor beginning era. If he created these sleepers and has them reincarnated since that time, there is a chance that the Qi Yuan Emperor and the Sword Empress, two eternal emperors of our sect, to notice something and take precautions. The people nodded, however, this information did not change much. Since there were still sleepers among these two clans, this showed that either Wang Wei's theory is wrong or the leader of this group found a way to bypass the preventive measures that the two eternal emperors placed on their families. What we have to worry about now is how to appease the sectarian faction, said Wang Tian. In recent years, we have finally achieved a certain level of unity. This recent cleansing might affect that. Indeed, given how they suffered the most loss, even the sectarian faction understood the situation, they might still be secretly resentful. We can bind together and divide them some of the resources that are only privy to our clans, suggested Li Zhang. Although that might temporarily calm them down, it should not be enough to have them 100% support us as they did in the past few hundred years, rebutted Yan Mei. Indeed, the remuneration should be worth all their loss, said Wang Tian. Just offer them another Dao ancestor spot for when Wire becomes emperor, suddenly said Wang Chong. Everyone's eyes light up after hearing this as this was the perfect remuneration. They did not need to give any resources, just a promise. Furthermore, Wang Wei was the one who would pay in the end. Meanwhile, the person that just received another karmic debt was speechless. So, Wang Wei secretly cursed these old foxes after figuring out their plans, 
especially his grandfather. Although he looked like a brute that only used his fist, he was the most cunning of all of them. What made Wang Wei even matter was that he did not even know how he would help these people become Dao ancestors. So, he decided to take this opportunity to ask. Unfortunately, before he could open his mouth, his grandfather said, You don't need to ask. When you are eligible to know, I will be more than glad to tell you. Wang Wei then gave a fierce look. Unfortunately for him, he was ignored. So, Wang Wei secretly sighed. During times like this, he wished his paternal grandmother was still alive. That way, he could use the same method he used to deal with his father to deal with his grandmother. Without anyone to check and balance him, the old man can do whatever he wants. Wang Wei knows that if he gets on his grandfather's bad side, the latter will not hesitate to beat him up, and even his mother would not be able to save him. After Wang Chang's proposition, the group started to discuss how to deal with the aftermath of this event. However, midway through, the shadow appeared behind Wang Tian and said something to him that made him frown a little. Is there a problem? The people of the Five Element Palace came for an official visit, they even brought Gen Biu with them. Everyone raised an eyebrow as they instantly realized that this visit might not be a normal one. Chapter 287. First Meeting. According to proper custom, Wang Tian and Wang Wei flew to the front of the mountain to receive the people of the Five Elements Palace. As soon as he arrived, Wang Wei noticed something different. Unlike the previous Great Zhou delegation, this one was quite small. To be precise, it was three women. With a single look, he knew that two of these people were in the Supreme Realm, while the other was in the Divine Body Realm, so Wang Wei focused on her. Zhen Biu looked quite ordinary to ordinary people, from her hair to her Taoist robe, everything seemed ordinary. Yet, she had an extraordinary temperament or aura surrounding her. She looked pure, innocent, or simple. Usually, someone so ordinary would be easily forgettable, but not her. After meeting, everyone greeted one another. Usually in this situation, a superficial tour would be in place, followed by greetings and polite chat, but the people of the Five Element Palace requested to skip all the pleasantries and get directly to the objective of their visit. And during the entire situation, Jen Biu was quiet and calm, and she just randomly looked around once in a while. Tianwei Peak an official meeting took place between those two powerful emperor lineages. So, to what I owe this visit? Asked Wang Tian. However, the two supreme realms true monarchs did not say anything, just looked at Zhen Biu, who in turn looked directly at Wang Wei and said. I need some of your organs. The room instantly became quiet as no one understood what was going on, so they also looked at Wang Wei. In this situation, since Zhen Biu, as a member of the younger generation, was in of the conversation, then he also had to come forward. Well, as much I would like to believe that my level of handsomeness has reached the level that women want pieces of me, I have a feeling that this is not your intention, so fellow Taoist Gen Biu, please elaborate, replied Wang Wei with his charming smile. Unfortunately, Gen Biu did not seem to care. With a little frown on her face, she said, I've been warned by the elders to not be as direct as I normally I am, so I understand your confusion. I apologize for that. While I was cultivating a while ago, I felt a powerful innate five element power coming from the central continent, so I tracked it to here. And after meeting you, I know that they came from your organs, so I came to get it. Wang Wei raised his eyebrow as he observed Zhen Biu. He could feel that she was not used to speaking so many words at once, meaning not was she taciturn, but a person of little word. I appreciate the elaboration, but once again, this is not enough. How exactly are you going to take them? Replied Wang Wei, this time a slight pressure emanated from his body. However, his pressure seemed to not affect Jen Biu. Without any change in expression, she took out a large orb the size of a basketball from her space ring. With a glance, Wang Wei could feel a small world inside this orb, and it was also full of the power of the stars. According to the elders, the final step in your cultivation of the ancient desolate body refining scripture, is to open the acupoints in your body with the power of the stars. In front of you is a small world full of star essence left by the Primar Star Emperor of our sect. I want to use this in exchange for a piece of your Zhang organs. Information about the Primal Star Emperor quickly rushed into Wang Wei's mind. He was one of the most powerful great emperors of the Five Element Palace with the possession of the Tenth Heavenly Physique, the Star Monarch Physique. During his rise, he invented a method to transform origin essence into star essence, 
granting extremely powerful battle strength and an unparalleled control of star power. During his rise, the Five Element Palace was still the most powerful Taoist sect of the Myriad Emperor world and they resided in the Central Continent. Additionally, tension started rising between the palace and the Tao opening sect. The reason being the fact that there were rumors that the Primal Star Emperor was trying to create a new cultivation system based on stars, thus replacing the Origin Path system. Adding to that the fact that he could transform Origin Essence into Star Essence, the sect was worried and war almost broke out. However, for reasons unknown, he did not do so, he did not even spread the method of transforming Star Essence. All these thoughts quickly flashed across Wang Wei's mind, then he asked, is this star essence from before he proved the Tao or after? After. Right before he disappeared. Wang Wei nodded his head, glanced in the direction of his grandfather and Yan Chen, and slightly moving his head. The two understood his meaning and used their divine sense to check before nodding to him. After receiving a positive answer, Wang Wei pondered for a brief moment before saying, I can accept your exchange, but I have a few conditions. Please say. First, before I give you the pieces of my organs, I need to erase any connection they have with me, and you have to absorb here in the sect. If you do not want to trade, say so," suddenly said one of the two true monarchs, obviously upset with this condition. However, Gen Biu was still calmed, albeit a frown appear on her face, why? As you know, some powerful spells or curses require the caster to have part of the target's body to work properly, I have to take precautionary measures to ensure my safety. Of course, I understand your hesitation, so I can promise not to be near her during the process, and we can provide you an empty mountain and you can set all the safety measures you want. The two true monarchs exchange a glance, then they discussed with Gen Biu. Finally, she said, fine, what's the second condition? My second and final condition is that I need a few drops of your source blood. Immediately, Gen Biu guessed Wang Wei's goal, which was the same as her used the power of five elements from her physique to increase his strength. Additionally, if she were to use his organs for something nefarious, he could reciprocate. Do you think this is a fair trade? Asked one of the true monarch. Why not? Replied Wang Wei. My organs are refined by innate five elements materials. They are worth more than the emperor star essence you provided. These true monarchs knew that this sacred son of the Tao opening sect was talking nonsense. Although what he said was true, that was taking into account all his organs. What they wanted was just a small piece. Though very frustrated, they did not continue to argue about this. This exchange was very important to them. So, after a brief exchange, they decided to accept the terms. Gen Biu handed over the orb along with two drops of her source blood. Of course, she also cut off her connection with it. As for Wang Wei, he cut a few pieces of his organs, removed the power of fate containing in them then cut off the faith that these pieces of organs had with him. From now, they had no relationship whatsoever with him. They were simply organs with five elements powers that came out of nowhere and just existed between heaven and earth. Furthermore, he did not do anything to them. For once, he was always a person of his words, plus, the two sides signed the highest level of binding contracts possible in this world. Immediately afterward, the two true monarchs were given one of the floating mountains, then they started placing formations all around to protect Gen Biu. They even contacted their sect and have them ready in case something truly happens. Inside the sect Master Hall, after the people of the Five Element Pace left to prepare the security of the mountain, Wang Wei was still discussing with the upper echelons of the sect. What do you think of her? Asked his grandfather Wang Chong. Given that she was most likely born with a pure heart, her talent is perfectly suited for Taoism. Adding to that her five elements balance physique, her potential is nothing to laugh about. Pure heart is a state of mind where the mind or spirit has no dust, is not affected by desires, emotions, or complicated thoughts. The mind is peaceful, calm, and quiet. It is the perfect state to comprehend the rules or laws of heaven and earth. This state can be accomplished through deep meditation and cultivation, but people born with such talent are considered true geniuses of cultivation. They are also sought after by the Taoist sects as it is easier for them to understand scriptures and Taoist philosophies. Chapter 288. Devil Scripture. A few days passed, and the true monarchs protecting Gen Biu already set up the necessary protection for her in the mountain that the sect provided for them. Then, she spent a month absorbing Wang Wei's organ parts. Soon after that, 
the people of the Five Elements Palace quickly left the Dao opening sect. Tianwei Peak, Wang Wei and the upper echelons of the sect were having another meeting. A projection screen was in front of them, showing Zhen Biyu's process of absorption. During the process, many people secretly sighed at Wang Wei's ingenuity of creating constructs or puppets the size of ants to have them secretly spy on her cultivation room. Even when her Tao protector used their divine sense to check the room, they will overlook such a small and insignificant animal, and the protection they took to protect her from prying eyes also overlook such a possibility. It seems that she cultivates the five element classics of their founder, Emperor Three Purity, commented Great Elder Yan Mei. Many people nodded in agreement with her as they recognized the cultivation method Zhen Biu was using. Not necessarily, said Wang Wei in disagreement. I do not believe for a moment that she did not create her own scripture. Young master, are you saying that she knew we were secretly watching her, that she noticed our actions? Not necessarily, but there are records of people with pure heart having very powerful intuitions. She might have felt something wrong, thus decided to hide her true ability as a precaution. Indeed, this was a very high possibility. Doesn't that mean we still do not know much about her? Asked one of the elders. No. We can deduce a few things from this situation, replied Wang Tian. For example, she probably used to cultivate the five element classic. Despite her look, she is probably very intelligent and her intuition could be of great help in battle. Additionally, her talent for the Tao of five elements probably reached a terrifying level, added Wang Wei. From what she previously said, she felt the power of innate five element in my body from the eastern continent. That is not something any normal person can do. People nodded in agreement with Wang Wei, then they spent the next few hours discussing and theorizing about Zhen Biyu's strength. Once the meeting finished, Wang Wei returned to his sacred sun mountain, and there, he saw Wang Ju waiting for him. He invited her in to have a meeting. Young master, we just received the scripture from the Mo family. Oh, so was I right about them? Correct. As soon we have asked them to check out the secret realm before officially entering, they were very quick to refuse. So, as you suggested, we threatened to destroy it, and eventually, under the pressure, they had Mo Xingyun sign the contract. Wang Ju then handed a red scroll to Wang Wei, which was the gluttony swallowing scripture. He opened it and read it. All living beings are born feeble and helpless, and from birth, require eating to survive. We eat nutrients from our mother's womb, eat food to grow up, sustain ourselves, grow, and prevent death. Even cultivators cannot escape the cycle of constant consumption. They eat spiritual energy, heavenly and earthly treasures, and even one another. Eating is a fundamental part of the universe, a part of the cycle of nature. But why should living beings stop at consuming things that are edible? All things in existence have value, whether it is a piece of dirt or the most valuable of heavenly materials. So, consume everything, indulge in the act of consuming, treat everything between heaven and earth as nothing but food. Whether it is ores, flesh, blood, soul, energy, or even the entire world, consume them. Swallow them. As Wang Wei read this scripture, he suddenly felt a terrifying desire to swallow everything around him enveloped his mind. The desire to eat everything seemed to want to overwhelm his mind. Fortunately, his will was quite powerful that he instantly regained his mind. With a sigh, he muttered, worthy of a cultivation technique of the devil race. It took the cultivator's basic idea of taking from heaven and earth to make up for their deficiency to a new level. Moreover, this book could explain one of the reasons that the heaven-swallowing emperor acted the way he did. If he got half of this book when he was young, he might have been affected by the will inside of it. Given his nature as a devil cultivator, he probably might be even more susceptible to this kind of influence. After dismissing Wang Ju, he spent a few days understanding this scripture in detail. Although he would not cultivate it himself, he can still try to understand something from it to integrate it into his Transcending Fate Sutra. However, a week later, he received another talisman that another person came to see him. So, he took a shower and went to meet the person. After entering the reception area of his manor, he saw an old lady with long white hair, dressed in plain clothes talking to Wu Hong. Grandma! yelled Wang Wei as he rushed to hug her. Oh, be careful not to break these old bones, replied Yun Zhaojun. Grandma, I thought you could not leave the Yu family easily. This is just a clone, so you do not need to worry. 
Wang Wei nodded his head as he knew that Void Shatter Realm powerhouses could easily create clones of themselves, not to mention his grandmother who was a true monarch. So, what brought you here to see me? I came to see my new daughter-in-law. So, you did not come to see me? Asked Wang Wei with a pout. Of course, I did. How could I forget my lovely grandson? So, the three sat together over tea to chat. So, when are you planning to hold the Tao Companion Ceremony? We were thinking after we both entered the primordial spirit realm, we will hold a small ceremony with friends and family, replied Wang Wei. After primordial spirit realm. That's not a long time, it's good to be early and make it official. Wang Wei frowned slightly, Grandma, is there something wrong? No, I'm just happy that you found the love of your life so quickly. Luckily, you do not have to go to all the trouble your parents went to before getting together. Wang Wei nodded his head. What about Grandpa? Is his injury all right now with the merit? Yes, he is much better now, he should be able to leave his seclusion after a while. That's good. If you need more merit, the sect should have plenty left. Don't hesitate to ask. I know, replied Yun Zhaojun as he pinched his face. Following this, Wang Wei spent the next few months spending time with his grandmother. During this time, he did not cultivate, plan, or thought of anything besides enjoying quality time with his family. Truthfully, he truly enjoyed this peaceful and quiet time, thus, was also a little sad after she left. Nevertheless, he would still see her again. After that, Wang Wei entered deep seclusion. However, while he was cultivating, the world was not so quiet or peaceful, especially the central continent. Green Tree Domain A young man wearing golden armor and holding a golden sword led an army charge against another. A powerful and bloody aura emanated from his body as he led the charge. This young man was simply unstoppable. No matter who got in his way would be chopped into two sections by his sword. At some point, more than five cultivators with law circulating their bodies attacked him together, but he still single-handedly slaughtered them. After a few hours, the young man, who was Sun Zhaolong, defeated the opposite army and took over the city they were protecting. He ordered his men to take over the city, but also not to arm the citizens. To make sure that everything went smoothly, he stood on top of the city gate to oversee everything. Sun Zhaolong raised his head to look in the sky, he could feel the powerful aura and shockwave of the battle that was taking place in the sky. While he was waiting for the outcome of the battle up there, someone walked to him and said. Your Highness, we received news that a few of the cities that we previously took over have been retaken by the people of Great Zhou. Do you know the reason? Asked Sun Zhaolong calmly. According to the information, a bunch of brand new saints and supreme realm powerhouses appeared and our people could not stop them. Why didn't our great Wu sent more powerful cultivators? The officer opened his mouth to say something, but he soon closed it again. However, Sun Zhaolong could guess the reason. He secretly sighed, looked at the sword in his hand as he muttered. It seems that it's about time I activate your ability. Chapter 289 Son of Destiny Sun Zhaolong have long planned to start a war with the great Zhou. According to his previous, the only problem he had was Ji Song. However, after the latter's death, he immediately knew that his chance came. So, after creating his Martial Emperor Code, he immediately rallied his supporters in Great Wu and started a war. His plan was simple. Used his immortality and strength as an advantage to slowly conquer the territory of Great Zhou. As long as Great Wu can stop the saints and supreme realm powerhouses of Great Zhou, he can deal with the other issue. At first, Sun Zhaolong's plan worked. Without having anyone in the same realm that can stop him, he was able to rapidly conquer territory after territory. However, recently, Great Zhou has dramatically increased the number of resources used in this war. The number of true person and true monarchs suddenly increased, and unfortunately, the Great Wu people could not keep up. One would think that since Great Wu has one more great emperor than Great Zhou, their foundation would be more solid and have way more resources. Unfortunately, Three of the four emperors of Great Wu were pseudo-emperors, or emperors who acquired the heaven will, but their will, state of mind or Tao heart does not reach the level to bear it. Additionally, given how long the Great Zhou Imperial Dynasty has been established compared to Great Wu, the latter could not compete with the former in terms of resources and strength. After figuring all of this out, Sun Zhaolong dismissed his attendant, then he entered the city lord's manor. He set up a formation, then sat in the lotus position to cultivate. He held the human destiny sword in his hand, 
then multicolored energy came from it and entered his body. A week later, Sun Zhaolong opened his eyes, his breath dramatically increased. With this new round of qi luck, I've managed to completely temper my muscles, now it's time for the organs, muttered Sun Zhaolong. If any of the other heaven chosens were here, they would be shocked as Sun Zhaolong is already in the organs tempering process in the human stage of the divine body realm. Meanwhile, the majority of them have just finished with their skins and are about to temper their muscles. Then, he took a communication talisman from his space ring to contact his father, Sovereign All Wisdom. Father, how is everything going? Asked Sun Zhaolong to the face that appeared in front of him. Not so good. With the recent loss, many people are starting to waver and wanting to stop the war. Sun Zhaolong just sneered after hearing this, this is the exact mentality that made our dynasty so weak. As soon as things get a little difficult, everyone wants to hide their tails behind their legs. All wisdom sighed before replying. You should have been aware of this fact long ago. So, if you want to truly change the dynasty for the better, you have to either take slow measures or drastic ones. Either way, you would still need to rely on yourself to solve the current problem. So do you have a solution? Maybe. That does not sound reassuring. I've never tried this method before, so I do not know whether it will succeed. All wisdom nodded but did not ask further. According to your request, I have acquired the talisman from Fang Luan. So fast. I thought they would bargain more. Despite how they look to the outside, most members of the Divine Dao League are actually quite poor. So, after rejecting their offer for an innate material, we quickly came to an agreement after being given some rare resources. Why do they need an innate material? Asked Sun Zhaolong in confusion. Most likely. It was a strategy of asking something outrageous so that they can get more out of the bargain. As long as I get what I want, it does not matter. All wisdom nodded, then paused for a moment. Are you sure your plan is going to work? Even if it works, our hatred for the great Zhou dynasty will reach a new level. Maybe you should reconsider this. Our hatred with the great Zhou has long reached the point of beyond repair. In the past few millennia, they have slowly eaten up our territories. The only reason that Great Wu still exists today is that the Great Zhou has not cultivated another emperor. Now that they have been eliminated in the competition so early, it is the perfect time to weaken them, and once I prove the Dao and become emperor, I can annihilate them. All wisdom sighed out loud, I'm sorry, but I do not think that many people of the dynasty will openly support you this time. Sun Zhaolong nodded his head, but he was not disappointed as he expected this outcome. After chatting with his father, he left the city lord mansion. Immediately, he used his divine sense to check the entire city and made sure that everything went according to his order in the past week. A few hours later, Sun Zhaolong stood in front of a large army, and in front of him was the teleportation formation. Your Highness, the teleportation to Sweeping Monk City is ready. However, Sun Zhaolong ignored the speaking person, closed his eyes, and connected with the human destiny sword. A few seconds later, he opened his eyes and said, change the course, we're going to Ice Glaze City. But sir, Ice Glaze City is far east of our location. Strategically speaking, it's not recommended to attack there now. You just need to follow my orders, not question them, said Sun Zhaolong with fierce eyes. Without any choice, the army was redirected to Ice Glaze City. Just like the previous war, Sun Zhaolong led the battle. With his unparalleled strength and the human destiny sword in his hand, he massacred anyone on his path, bathing his golden armor red. However, midway through the battle, something strange happened. The blood of all the fallen soldiers was absorbed to the ground. And once the battle ended, not far from the battlefield, the space broke apart, countless formations formed in the air, and massive red lights rushed from the formation to rush to the sky. With a smile on his face, Sun Zhaolong quickly sacrificed the human destiny sword, and a golden shield appeared to prevent the red lights from creating a vision and alerting other people. He immediately commanded his generals and lieutenants to take care of the aftermath of the battle, while Sun Zhaolong rushed to the formation. Without pause, he entered. Soon, he found himself in a room, and in front of him was an army of puppets. After checking the surroundings quickly, he took a step forward. Then, this puppet army started attacking. For the next few days, Sun Zhaolong constantly fought wave after wave of puppets, until he reached the main room of this secret realm. There he saw two rows of puppets. In one row, there were twenty puppets, while on the other, there were a few hundred. 
This time though, he was careful as he could not feel the strength of these puppets. Sun Jiaolong got in fighting mode as he walked into that room. However, this time, nothing happened. He was not attacked by anyone or anything. Soon, he found a book standing in the middle of an altar. After opening and reading it, a bigger smile appeared on his face. So, is this the power of a son of destiny? muttered Sun Jiaolong to himself. I just needed powerful cultivators to support me, and now, I suddenly found a secret realm left over by a powerful puppet sect from the Devil Era. And in that secret realm, they left 200 Saint Tier puppets, 18 Supreme Tier puppets, and two Quasi Emperor puppets. Sun Jiaolong looked at the sword in his hand with awe. With this sword, no matter what trouble he faced, he can have any fortunate encounter to solve the problem for him. In this generation, as long as I do not let the power of Son of Destiny get to my head thinking that I'm invincible, I can slowly rise to the top with countless fortunate encounters and eventually reach the strength to suppress all my peers, take the heaven will and prove the Tao. Sun Jiaolong then walked over to take the talisman that allowed him to control all these puppets. He placed all the puppets, including the previous army that attacked him into his space ring. Before leaving, he looked back at the secret realm and muttered, I have accepted this karma. When I prove the Tao and become Great Emperor, the refining puppet sect will appear once again in the myriad emperor world. Sun Jiaolong then left the secret realm to prepare for the next step of his plan. With this newly discovered strength, he was confident in his success. Chapter 290. Seed. Great Zhou Dynasty Capital. Today was a normal day like any other day. Because of the recent war, the general situation has been tense thus making the entire city quite somber, with every citizen wondering about their future. Sovereign Ji Wen did his best to appease the people as this negative mood has been affecting the dynasty's qi luck. However, he was only partially successful. With each city that Sun Jiaolong takes over, the morale of the people becomes lower, even if he manages to recapture some of them back quite rapidly. Sovereign Ji Wen was dealing with military affairs when he suddenly felt something, and it was not just him. Everyone felt it, even the mortal. To be precise, everyone saw it. A gigantic palm that covered the entire city slowly fell towards it. The palm exuded a terrifying pressure, making most cultivators unable to breathe properly. More important, everyone knew that if it hit, the entire city would be destroyed instantly. Of course, this did not happen. As soon as the palm reached a certain level, the formation protected the city activated, and the attack was blocked. Who dares to be impudent in my dynasty? roared Sovereign Ji Wen as he instantly appeared floating above the city. Soon though, he saw the people responsible for the attack, to be exact, twenty people. Puppets? Immediately, he realized that these people or things were not alive, but supreme tier puppets. Could these people be sent by Great Wu? That's impossible. Given their foundation, they should not have such powerful puppets. Then, Ji Wen used his divine sense to scan a few million miles outside of the city, searching for something. No people controlling them. Or are they able to hide from me? I guess it does not matter given the current situation. He waved his hand. A multicolored dragon appeared in front of everyone. The Chi Luck dragon roared, then immediately afterward, the aura around the puppet slowly decreased. In just a few seconds, their strength was reduced to the Saint Realm, and it kept on decreasing. However, a golden light flashed from their bodies, then their strength stopped decreasing. On top of that, they returned to their peak states. What power is that? muttered Sovereign Ji Wen. It should belong to the human destiny sword, responded one of the many supreme tier that appeared next to him. So, it is those damn snakes of Great Wu. But how did they get their hands on such powerful puppets? Last that I know, they never had any refiners that specialize in this field, let alone be powerful enough to create supreme tier ones. This is not important right now, Your Majesty. The important thing is to find a way to deal with these two quasi-emperor puppets. Should I open the emperor formations? No, the price is too big, and with the current war, this is not the best move. In that case, I can only do that. Ji Wen took out a jade talisman and crushed it. Soon after that, two extremely powerful auras manifested themselves deep from the royal palace. Then, two old men with white hair and beard appeared in the sky. Their bodies looked sickly as they were as skinny as bones. A breath of death and decay surrounded them. They looked at the puppets in the sky, then at Ji Wen before nodding to him. The two quasi-emperor opened their mouth and swallowed, 
then the spiritual energy in the following few domains was instantly swallowed by them. In front of everybody, their bodies slowly returned to normal. They grew muscles, their skins were no longer rough like paper sands, their eyes no longer dull and listless. They looked more normal now. Unfortunately, the decay breath surrounding them did not disappear. After regaining their vigors, they rushed to fight the two quasi-emperors. Knowing the potential destruction that their battle could reach, they dragged the puppets outside of the world, in the endless void. In fact, all the other true monarchs did the same. Meanwhile, Sovereign Ji Wen kept the formation activated to prevent other people from sneak attack the capital, while the other officials went around appeasing the people. Unfortunately, as a result of this, no one actually noticed the invisible shadow that sneak into the palace. This battle lasted for a few hours, and many people secretly watched the confrontation between these two imperial dynasties. After the war, Sovereign Ji Wen had a meeting with his officials. Pramin Minister, what do you think about this attack? It was very strange. There is no way that they believe such an assault would work, so they might have another reason for their attack, replied Zhao Yan. Any ideas? The best theory we can come up with is that they either wanted us to waste resources by activating the Emperor Formation, or they wanted us to wake the sleeping Supreme Elders. Everyone sighed after hearing this. During this battle, the two quasi-Emperor puppets were partially destroyed but still escaped along with all the others. In times, they can be repaired, however, the same cannot be said for these Supreme Elders. The reason that they sealed themselves in the first place was that their lifespans reach or their end, but now that they have woken up, they can only live for up to 20 years. Also, since their blood vitality has been exhausted, they can no longer reseal themselves. As such, the great Zhou dynasty just lost two quasi-emperor at the cost of rendering these two puppets usable for a few decades. This is a great loss for them since they are in the middle of a war. How about we also attack their capital? They are probably expecting such an outcome, and we would probably be walking into a trap. So, are we supposed to do nothing after this? we could wake up the sleeping ancestors. That's prosperous. You should know that unless the dynasty is on his last breath, they will and cannot intervene, answered Sovereign Ji Wen to this suggestion. Of course, what he did not say was that some of them might even watch as the dynasty crumbled and disappeared as this would be a relief for them. Plus, the situation has not become so dire. We just have to focus on winning that war. Everyone nodded their heads before continuing their discussions on how to win this war. Meanwhile, Sun Zhaolong was receiving someone in Ice Glaze City. He looked at the hooded person in front of him and asked him, Is everything done accordingly? Yes, sir. Was there any problem in the process? No, Sun Zhaolong instantly appeared in front of the person, held his head, and squeezed it until his cranium and brain were crushed. Sorry, I cannot take any risk of my plan leaking. He then looked in the direction of Great Zhou and muttered, Now that the seed has been planted, all I have to do is wait for it to bear fruit. Sun Zhaolong walked to his army and ordered, From now on, we will slow down the march. Southern Vermilion Bird Continent, a supreme land called Soaring Lantern Valley. Inside a cultivation cave, a young man dressed in black sat in the lotus position, and a book floated in front of him. Black Qi continuously entered his body, then, his body exploded into countless pieces. However, soon afterward, a mysterious power reassembled his body again. The young repeated the process hundreds of times before stopping, then he opened his eyes, which were full of vicissitudes. Finally refined this life and death book using the immortality granted by this world's heavenly Tao, muttered the young man. This could be considered something good since my luck has been so poor since coming to this world. The young man stood up to stretch his body. Now, there are three issues I need to deal with. The first is to find a way to create a new body as my primordial spirit does not agree completely with this one. Second, I need to quickly regain my supreme realm strength. Lastly, I need to find a way to get an identity token to participate in this world's heaven will battle. The Soaring Valley is too weak to have such a thing, nor do they have enough resources for me to back to my peak and beyond. After making his plan, he left his seclusion cave. Outside, a few maids were waiting for him, and as soon as they saw him, they all bowed in unison while saying, Young Master Huang Yuan. Huang Yuan nodded his head before saying, Tell the sect master and elders that I'm going to the eastern continent. After that, he ignored the worshipping eyes of these maids and flew away. Chapter 291. Hatred. Great Zhou Imperial Dynasty, 
Sovereign Ji Wen was holding an official meeting. However, he sat on his throne with his hand on his chin, looking in the distance. Over the past 500 years, ever since the attack on the capital, the movement of Sun Jiaolong has slowed down drastically. Although we have lost many territories, we also managed to capture some of them as well, reported the army commander. That's good news. If they continued to move as fast as before, then we would have lost more domains. Not necessarily. The previous tactic, although very fast and effective, had a fatal flaw. The citizens did not feel any sense of belonging to Great Wu. But now, after 500 years, it is more than enough time for them to start identifying as Great Wu citizens instead of Great Zhou. That's true. If we manage to recapture these territories, the citizens might not accept us. It all depends on how Great Wu treated them. The room became quiet for a moment, then someone asked, So, what's our next step? Everyone then looked at Ji Wen, who was still staring in the distance, completely ignorant of the gaze surrounding him. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, said, Prime Minister Zhao Yan. Hum, did you say something? asked Sovereign Ji Wen. Your Majesty, is everything all right? You have been very absent as of late. Ji Wen sighed before saying, To be honest, I've been feeling that something is wrong for quite some time now. However, I do not know why. Maybe I'm too tired. Zhao Yan frowned, Your Majesty, you're connected with the dragon luck of the dynasty, so your intuitions are sharper than others. If you feel that something is wrong, then there is a high chance that something will happen to you. So, it's better to investigate as soon as possible. Sovereign Ji Wen was about to nod his head when he heard the sound of loud footsteps slowly coming not far away. He frowned as he wondered who dared to break the dynasty's law of not interrupting court meeting, unless there was an emergency. Ji Wen's eyebrow raised when he saw who barged inside the meeting. Sewer. What are you doing outside of the royal tomb? Plus, you should know better than to disrupt a court meeting. Unfortunately for Ji Wen, his son just looked at him with cold eyes full of hatred. Then, Ji Su's eyes moved to the court officers in the room. Immediately, many of them moved from their seats and stood behind him. To be precise, more than three quarters of them, including the commander of the army and the head of the Imperial Guards, Zhou Fan. Realizing what took place, Ji Wen stood up from his throne. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? replied Ji Su with a sneer on his face. You unfilial son. Why are you doing this, especially at a time like this? Unfilial son. Ha 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 ha, laughed Ji Su with a grave hint of madness and sorrow. Are you worthy to say such a thing after what you've done to my brother? roared Ji Su at his father. Ji Wen took a half step back, then he said, Is this what this is about? Because I could not protect Songer? Do you think that I do not miss him as much as you? Do you think I do not grieve for him every single day? Do you think that I do not blame my weakness and incompetence for not being able to protect my own son? This is not about your weakness, replied Ji Su as he looked down at his hands. Over the past hundred years, I've thought of the situation over and over again, and I realized that given the situation, there was nothing either of us could do. He paused for a moment. Every single moment of my existence, I blame myself for not convincing him of putting his name on the Heavenly Tao Protection Book, that way, all of this would have been avoided. He raised his head to look at Ji Wen straight in the eyes, his own eyes bloodshed. The reason I hate you so much is because of how you reacted after his death. You did absolutely nothing. You lowered your head to his killers like a dog wagging his tail for a few pieces of meat, then moved on with your life as if nothing ever happened. So, what did you expect me to do? Risk the fall of Great Joe in my hands? Risk the lives of trillions of people? Do not use this lame excuse to hide your power hungry side, grunted Ji Su. You could have given the throne to someone else and tried to kill Wang Wei on your own, thus fulfilling your duty as a father. That way, even if something went wrong, the Dao opening sect could not place the blame on us as your actions would have been your own. You could have hired an assassin to kill him, then take the blame for it to protect the dynasty. But you did none of that. When the choice was given to you between your role as a ruler and as a father, you chose to be a ruler without any hesitance. This is the reason for today's event. Since you like power so much, I will forcefully take it away from your cold hands, leaving you with nothing. Ji Wen was momentarily silent after hearing this. In that case, there is nothing to say anymore. A golden halberd and armor appeared over his body. He began to control the dynasty's luck to bless himself and increase his power. 
However, to his horror, he realized that his control over it was slowly decreasing. What have you done? You mean this? said Ji Su as he held a dragon carving made of the most precious of jade, the imperial seal. Do you think I did not prepare for this in the past few hundred years? added Ji Su with a smirk. How is that possible? Wait. Your mother, said Ji Wen. However, soon after that, he spewed a big mouthful of blood, then he fell backward. Luckily for him, he caught the throne behind him. Your Majesty, yelled Prime Minister Zhao Yan as he rushed to the Emperor. Many other officers did the same thing, but Zhao Yan gave them a fierce look and prevented them from approaching Ji Wen. Even the Queen is related to this situation, I cannot trust anybody, thought Zhao Yan. While the Prime Minister was injecting his origin essence into Ji Wen's body to try to remove the poison, another person walked into the room. It was a beautiful middle aged woman dressed in a long hanfu decorated with red phoenixes, she had a golden crown on her head. You poisoned me? muttered Ji Wen with blood all over his teeth as he looked at his wife. They have been together for countless millennia, but now he was dying at her hands. However, the Queen did not say anything. She looked at him with sadness, love, pity, and a lot of resentment. You do not need to worry about dying yet as the poison I fed you the living dead, said Ji Su. Zhao Yan's face suddenly changed after hearing this. You want to turn your majesty into a puppet to control the dynasty? As astute as ever, Prime Minister. Unfortunately, your loyalty to my father is truly unwavering. It's a shame such a talented individual as yourself has to die like this. The living dead poison can kill a person's body but keep their souls intact and living inside that body, thus turning them into living dead. Then, the living dead body can be controlled by another person. The best part about this poison is that it is very difficult to spot. I need to buy some time until the Supreme Realm True Monarchs get wind of this situation. This is our best chance of intervening. Zhao Yan stood up and released his domain, preparing to fight. Ji Su smiled after seeing this. If you think that buying enough time for the true monarch to come to save you is your best option, then you're greatly mistaken. Meanwhile, inside a secret realm of the great Zhou Imperial Dynasty, Ji Song's previous Dao protector, Ji Han, installed a powerful formation to prevent many of the remaining true monarchs from intervening in Ji Su's plan. As for the others, they were either occupied by different battlefields against the great Wu, or they sided with Ji Su in this rebellion. A few hours later after the incident, the news was released to the great Zhou citizen by the sovereign himself that assassins infiltrated the palace and killed many of the court officials, including the prime minister. In honor of these offices' service to the dynasty, there will be a few days of mourning for them. Sun Zhaolong was in a secret room with a communication formation in front of him displaying someone's face. It was Ji Su. According to our agreements, all the domains in the east belong to you, nothing more said Ji Su. I'm happy that you're a man of your words, replied Sun Zhaolong with a smile. However, I've been thinking that this was not enough. I'm suddenly interested in the western side as well. We had a deal. Nothing was set in stone. Plus, with how weak your dynasty is due to infighting, what can you do in your situation, added Sun Zhaolong with a sneer. Ji Su looked at him deeply for a moment, then he said, in that case, how about we blow this situation out of proportion? Let's wake up the Dao ancestors and immortal venerables of our respective dynasty and let them decide the outcome of this war. Sun Zhaolong immediately became silent. Oh, that's right. I forgot that your dynasty is full of pseudo emperors, so the amount of sleeping ancestors you have is pitifully low and there might even be only a few, if any at all, added Ji Su with a sneer on his face. With an ugly look on his face, Sun Zhaolong retorted, How do you know about this? Do you really think that this was a big secret? I'm sure many people have already speculated as much based on how snake-like you people of Great Wu behaved. Sun Jialong took a deep breath, if you do that, then you will pay for your rebellion as well. So what? Compared to placing a greedy mutt like you in his place, it's worth it. Ji Su then ended the communication without saying anything else. As for Sun Jialong, he took a deep breath to calm himself down. Then he began to conquer the territory that he was granted to according to their previous deal. Dao Opening Sect, Transcending Fate Mountain, Inside a Cultivation Room. Wang Wei's good fortune flame was slowly burning his purple soul. This was a sign of breaking through the primordial spirit realm. However, after a few hours, he spat out a mouthful of blood, thus stopping the process. 
This is the thirteenth failure, muttered Wang Wei. It seems that with how powerful my soul is, ordinary methods will not allow me to enter the primordial spirit realm. End of this volume. Chapter 292, Heaven Stage. In the past five hundred years, Wang Wei has opened his remaining six orifices, thus cleansing his spirit and properly finishing the earth stage of the divine body realm. After opening the tongue orifice, his sense of taste drastically increased. If he wanted, he could distinguish all the ingredients, including seasoning and heat temperature, of any meal that he ate. He even tested this ability with pills. He swallowed a pill with more than 400 hundred ingredients, and he could distinguish all of them alone based on the taste of the pill. The next orifice that he opened were his noses. This granted him the ability to smell things from kilometers away, smell colors, smell the putrid scent of people with negative karma or sins. This was a very bad experience for him. Finally, he opened the eyes orifices. Despite his expectations, nothing much changed after opening those two orifices. Besides an increase in vision and the power of his true vision granted by his soul slightly increased in strength, nothing much changed. Once all orifices were opened, his body seemed to have become free, more complete. It seems to have evolved to a higher state. For example, even without spiritual energy, he could survive for a few decades or more. He does not need to eat or sleep like a regular person. Furthermore, his body does not decay like ordinary people's. Even if died, his body would remain in perfect shape for a few hundred years. All these abilities were granted to him just because of the divine body realm, not because of his powerful fleshly body. Nevertheless, after entering the peak of the earth stage, Wang Wei realized that because of how powerful he already was, his strength only increased slightly after opening the orifices. He was not happy about this fact. Normally, after someone opened the orifices, they would enter the heaven stage of the divine body realm. In this stage, cultivators will start controlling the power of heaven and earth. Usually, when cultivators fight, they rely on their strength. However, in the divine body realm, they can borrow the might of heaven and earth to destroy their enemies. After all, compared to heaven and earth, most cultivators are nothing but ants crawling on the ground trying to survive. In the divine altar realm, cultivators have to blend their spirit or minds into heaven and earth. In the earth stage of the divine body realm, they opened their orifices as a process to cleanse their spirits or minds of earthly restrictions of the body like eating, sleeping, or secretion. Once the spirit reaches a certain level of strength, it can bear the power of heaven and earth. This stage is divided into nine substages called the nine heavens. The spirit connects the body with the soul, so they are connected. The more powerful one becomes, the other will follow soon to reach a certain state of balance. And with Wang Wei's paragon soul, his spirit is ridiculously powerful. As such, he knew that he could reach the ninth heaven as soon as he entered the heaven stage. But, he was not satisfied with his gains in the earth stage. So, he decided to take another path. The orifices that he opened reminded him of the chakra system from Hinduism in his past life. So, he made the bold assumption that if orifices existed, then the same could be said for chakras, and by opening them, he could further develop the potential of his body. So, he used his unforgettable memory to review his life back on Earth. Because of the nature of his work, Wang Wei had to deal with many international clients. A few of them practiced Taoism, Hinduism, and Buddhism. In an attempt to get close to these clients, he read many scriptures in these religions and their doctrines. Of course, back then, he only knew the surface level, enough to have a conversation. Now, he was taking his time to review these scriptures and find the knowledge he wanted. After decades of meditation, he managed to discover the hidden gates of the body that referred to the seven chakras. After that, Wang Wei opened them one by one using the good fortune flame starting from the root chakra. After opening the root chakra, Muladhara, which was located in the base of his spine, a red light appeared all over his body, followed by an intense earth energy. Then, the gate of this chakra is connected to his spleen, which is also earth-related in nature. The strength of his fleshly body increased by at least 5%. On top of that, his mind seemed to be sublimated. Wang Wei felt more confident, more determined to face any challenge. His already powerful will also strengthens. After opening the sacral chakra, Swadasthana, located two inches below the navel, the chakra gate connected to his kidney, which was also water in nature. His body once again strengthened, and his divine sea suddenly increased ten times in size. Additionally, 
Since this chakra controlled sexual energy, it also connected to the ears, genitals, and anus orifices. Wang Wei's ability to control his emotion and sexual urges strengthened after this chakra opened. The next chakra opened was the solar plexus, Manipura, located in the upper abdomen in the stomach area. This chakra was related to the fire element, so it connected to his heart. This chakra removed a lot of Wang Wei's self-doubt about the future. No matter what occurred, he was prepared to face any challenge in his path of cultivation. Even his slight fear of DTN was gone. Next was the heart chakra, Anahata, located just above the heart. This chakra made him easier to accept and give love. After opening it, the little mistrust he had about Wu Hong because all the secrets were removed, he fully accepted her and all her mystery. The fifth chakra was the throat chakra, Vishuddha. This chakra connected with his tongue orifice, and Wang Wei gained a new ability. The opening of this chakra allowed him to be even more open about his ambitions or desire to become free and unfettered. And since his pursuit of the Tao was reinforced, so was his Tao heart. The sixth chakra was the third eye chakra, Ajna. After opening it, a third eye appeared on his forehead. With it, he could now see so many things that even his true vision ability could not even see. Plus, the eye has had a powerful ability that came with it. Finally, he opened the last one, the crown chakra, Sahasrara. This one was the most beneficial to him yet. After opening it, all the seven chakras connected to one another, his body turned golden. His sea of consciousness rapidly expanded along with his soul, which finally reached the level of the supreme realm. Following this, he immediately entered the ninth heaven of the heaven stage and beyond. His true will or do you realm as the previous devil god mentioned further strengthens. However, Wang Wei still did not know how to use this power besides destroying the cultivation of people with weak foundations. A large number of impurities came out of his body, mostly coming from his blood as this was the only untempered part of his body. A large amount of vitality was then infused into his blood, slowly turning it purple. After opening all his chakras, Wang Wei underwent a tremendous transformation that drastically increased his strength. After that, he immediately added these methods to his Transcending Fate Sutra, further optimizing and updating it. Then, he went to Battle Tower to fight against the clone of the Battle Maniac Emperor to solidify his foundation and control his power. While Wang Wei was going through his training, Ji Su stood in front of a tomb with Ji Wen bowing to it, it was Ji Song's tomb. Little Song, unfortunately, with my talent and strength, I cannot avenge you. However, please be at peace, for in this world, strength is not the only way to kill someone. He looked in the direction of the Tao opening sect, his eyes filled with hatred and ruthlessness. Having made some kind of decision, Ji Su allowed his father to remain a puppet to control the dynasty, then he headed for the western white tiger continent. He did not know where his path of vengeance would lead him, but he was willing to pay anything for it, even his life. Chapter 293. Failure. Inside the battle tower, Wang Wei was battling the clone of the battle maniac emperor. However, he was struggling in this fight. The reason being that this clone had a cultivation level of the supreme realm. Wang Wei clenched his fist, a golden light flashed through his fist, then he punched forward. Bang. Everything shook as if mother nature had lost her patience and decided to eradicate mankind for their atrocities. The mere shockwave of his fist was enough to destroy a middle thousand world and all its trillion inhabitants. Unfortunately, his attack had little effect. The Dharma body behind the battle maniac emperor casually waved his hand and blocked the attack, then punched Wang Wei himself. Without hesitation, Wang Wei's innate shield, which had turned golden in color, surrounded him to block the attack. That single punch instantly annihilated the ground that Wang Wei was standing on. As such, he found himself and the clone fighting in the void. Although he blocked that attack, he was not intact. The shockwave was enough to shake his organs. Additionally, he could feel the fighting law that the battle maniac cultivated taking effect. Over time, his fighting ability and instinct began to decrease, while the opposite was true for his opponent. With each second, the latter grew more and more powerful. His attacks became sharper, his battle intuition drastically increased as he could always pinpoint the weakness of all of Wang Wei's attacks. Knowing that losing the battle was inevitable at this rate, he decided to be more serious. Then, a vision appeared behind Wang Wei. Visions can increase a cultivator's battle strength by a few folds. Usually, an increase between two times to nine times the increase. However, 
Wang Wei's vision gave him an 18-fold increase. After showing his vision, Wang Wei started to use the power of heaven and earth from the heaven stage in the divine body realm. The nine heavens of this stage have the same function as the visions, an increase in battle strength. The first heaven is equal to a nine-fold increase in strength, the second heaven is eighteen-fold, the third heaven twenty-seven-fold, to the ninth heaven which grants cultivators an eighty-one-fold increase in strength. The minimum requirement for all cultivators to enter the primordial spirit realm is to reach the fourth heaven. For heaven chosens like Lin Fan, their visions gave them a nine-fold increase in strength, and when they reach the ninth heaven stage, the vision will stack up, granting them a maximum of ninety-fold increase. As for Wang Wei, his vision should have provided him a ninety-nine-fold increase, but because of how unique his earth stage was and how powerful his spirit is, he went beyond the ninth heaven. According to his calculation, he currently has an increase of 270-fold. So, after using the power of heaven and earth to increase his strength, adding to that his fleshly body that was now on par with true monarchs, Wang Wei was able to fight with the clone of the battle maniac emperor. In the end, he still lost. After all, the clone had all the abilities of the emperor when he was in that realm, and Wang Wei is still in the divine body realm. Nevertheless, he still fought for three days non-stop before being defeated. Then, Wang Wei went to challenge his father again. This time, he survived until the 36th sword. After gaining control of his strength, he went back to retreat. Sitting in the lotus position, Wang Wei looked inward to his divine sea. He controlled the ancient lamp with the good fortune flame to enter his sea of consciousness. Immediately afterward, he placed the power of heaven and earth inside the lamp to fuel the good fortunate flame. The thirteen colored flame instantly rose in intensity. Then Wang Wei guided the flame to his purple soul. Normally, the good fortune flame would burn the soul to remove the impurities, then slowly transform it into a primordial spirit, thus allowing him to enter the next stage of cultivation. Unfortunately for Wang Wei, nothing happened. No matter how much he tried to burn his soul, it was not affected in the least bit. After the thirteenth attempt, he vomited a mouthful of blood because of backlash. This is the thirteenth failure, muttered Wang Wei. It seems that with how powerful my soul is, ordinary methods will not allow me to enter the primordial spirit realm. After that, he took a healing pill before leaving his seclusion. As soon as he came out, he saw Wu Hong was waiting for him. She immediately noticed his slightly pale complexion. More importantly, she felt like he was different from before. She felt like the two of them suddenly become closer, like he truly accepted her. Failed? She asked. Yeah. How do you feel? Just a little annoyed, that's all, replied Wang Wei as he smiled, then hugged her. What are you going to do now? Well, luckily for me, you warned me about this a few hundred years ago. So, I did make some preparations, but I do not know how effective it will be. What will you do if you are forever unable to enter the primordial spirit realm? Worst case scenario, I will abandon the origin system, travel to other world communities to find a system that fits me the best. Or, I just create one of my own, or I just concentrate on body refining. I still have a lot of options. It's good that you have other options. Let me ask you, why do I feel like you're different? Wang Wei then explained to her the chakra system that he used and how it affected his mind and spirit. He even told her about the little mistrust he had about her. Wu Hong was not surprised about this fact as she knew him quite well. This system seems to have some origin with Buddhism. It's quite interesting, and it has a lot of potentials. After saying that, she handed him a piece of paper. What's this? Wang Ju came by to hand over information regarding important events that happened in the past 500 years. Wang Wei scanned the paper, and only took notice of a few things. One was Sun Zhaolong's capture of a large territory of the Great Zhou Imperial Dynasty. The second was that the Fate Guards have theorized that something weird or shady happened inside the Great Zhou, however, they could not gather more information because of how tight security has been lately in Great Zhou. The third was the fact that Jian Wushuang seemed to be traveling around the world, challenging different kinds of swordsmen. The fourth was the fact that Lu Meishou was spotted in the northern Black Tortoise continent. Lastly, the Loose Cultivator Alliance just endorsed someone from the lower realm as their heaven chosens in this generation with an identity token. This person's name is Huang Yuan. As for the other people, all of them seem to focus on cultivating and have not shown up in the past few hundred years. After reading all this news, 
Wang Wei did not care as he had much better things to worry about. Currently, the majority of these people have just entered the earth stage of the divine body realm, while he's about to enter the primordial spirit. However, his paragon quality soul is preventing him from doing so, he has to focus on dealing with this problem. One last thing, said Wu Hong. Grandma sent you some long shui tea. Really? In that case, let's go drink some while I talk to her. Later that day, Wang Wei and Wu Hong had a meeting with the upper echelons of the sect. So, you failed? asked his grandfather. Yes. Although we expected this, it's still troublesome, added Wang Tian. Luckily, we have prepared beforehand the things you asked for. After that, he led everyone to a secret realm. Inside, a few million people were sitting cross-legged. The odd thing about these people was the fact that they were all in the supernatural realm, and they had a similar aura to Wang Wei. A million supernatural realm cultivators that cultivated your transcending fate sutra. With countless resources, the sect was able to cultivate them so quickly, said Wang Tian. Looking at these people, Wang Wei said, hopefully, this plan works, otherwise, I will have to go back to the drawing board. All right, we will begin a month from now. Chapter 294, Secret Archive Wang Wei sat in the middle of a large formation with all the millions of supernatural realm cultivators surrounding him. His ancient lamp floating above his head, burning brightly with thirteen different colors. At the same time, all the supernatural realm cultivators also had their ancient lamps floating in front of them as well. Numerous runes from the formatting activated, then the twelve-colored flame of these supernatural realms separated from them before rushing toward Wang Wei in the center. His thirteen-colored flame absorbed these flames. His good fortune flame did not add any more color afterward, but the intensity that the flame burned drastically increased. The flame rose a few hundred meters to the sky. Luckily, this was a large space surrounded by a protective formation. After seeing this phenomenon, Wang Wei hurriedly directed the lamp and the flame into his sea of consciousness in an attempt to refine his soul. While all of this was happening, the upper echelons of the sect were closely monitoring him to ensure that nothing happened. Wouldn't it be better to use divine body realm cultivators instead? asked one of the elders. No the good fortune flame of divine body realm cultivators has been infused with their goals, dreams, or aspirations. If he used them instead, his soul would most likely be corrupted, answered true monarch Yan Chen. After this brief conversation, all of them quieted down, waiting for Wang Wei to finish. This wait lasted for three days. Wang Wei, who was closing his eyes all this time, suddenly opened them, vomited a big mouthful of blood. Failed? asked Wang Tian who suddenly appeared next to him. Wang Wei just nodded his head. Everyone then became somber after hearing this. Young master, how about trying the method you suggested to break your soul into small connected pieces so that it is easier to refine? I think this method was truly genius. Don't say stupid things, said Wang Chong. The soul is yin in nature, and only by entering the primordial spirit realm will it acquire yang attribute thus allowing it to not only exist in the real world without problem but also give it a certain malleable nature. If you try to break a yin soul into small pieces, the likely scenario is a real soul injury that is hard to cure, especially with how high in quality wire S is. Wang Wei agreed with his grandfather. After learning about the possible difficulty he would face in breaking through the next realm, he began to plan ahead. One of his plans was based on a novel he read on his past life where the cultivation system allowed people to break their souls into hundreds if not millions of pieces that are connected to one another. As long as one piece of the soul was left intact, it could grow back to its original size. Furthermore, each piece of the soul has a certain amount of strength, making it very versatile in nature and able to do many things. In that case, what about we try the divine body method previously stated? As for the impure will in them, can we find another method to deal with afterward? suggested Great Elder Yan Mei. Everyone then looked at Wang Wei for him to make a decision. You guys have the right idea, but this method will not work. A million divine body cultivators will not be effective. So, what you're saying is that as long as the intensity of the good fortune flame is enough, you can succeed? asked Wu Hong. Yes. Although I failed in this attempt, I noticed a very tiny part of my soul was refined. Although it was probably 0.0000001% of it, this showed me that it is possible. So, 
What we have to accomplish is to find a way to increase the intensity of the good fortune flame. Summarizes Yu Yan. How are we supposed to do that? Add a few more billions of supernatural realm cultivators? Although it would take some time and resources, it should be possible, said Wang Tian. No one in this room cares about sacrificing a few billion lives for the sake of Wang Wei. It's better if your breakthrough does not involve so much karmic debt, said Wu Hong. At this time, I don't think we can care about such trivialities, said one of the other elders. Many people agreed with that elder. However, Wang Wei looked at Wu Hong and asked. What are you thinking? You should know that your greatest threat to the throne is DTN. Given how long he has lived and the fact that he controls the Tao of reincarnation, there is a high chance that he also knows something about karma. If you ever confront him with such a large karmic debt, well. Wang Wei realized that she was right. Do you have a solution to my current problem? Both yes and no I could seal the quality of your soul, which would allow you to easily enter the primordial spirit realm. However, you would lose all the benefits it comes with until you prove the Tao. Benefit? What benefit? So far, this thing has been nothing but a nuisance. The majority of your monster level comprehension comes from it, added Wu Hong. Wang Wei took a deep breath, he did not want to give up his advantage, what else? Although I do not have a way to solve your problem, I can point you in a direction, that's Buddhism. Buddhism? What do they have to do with anything? asked Yu Yan. The incense era began because a monk discovered that he could use the power of faith to refine his soul and enter the primordial spirit realm. Using faith to refine the soul? That's a good idea, replied Wang Chong. However, this method has long been lost through time. I doubt even the Taoist sect still has access to one, unless you have that method. Unfortunately, I do not, replied Wu Hong. However, you can recreate it. I'm glad that you have so much trust in me, but I know only a little bit about Buddhism from the small books I've read in the library. Without any information to go on with, I'm also at loss. In that case, we'll give you more information, said Wang Chong. Indeed. I think it's about time you visited the sect's secret archive, said Wang Tian. Secret archive? That's the first time I've heard about it, commented Wang Wei. That's because it was not time for you to have access to it yet. Then. Wang Tian led the group to a secret location of the sect. As soon as Wang Wei entered there, he saw a vast library with rows filled with books, jade talisman, and some stone carvings that had mysterious light emanating from them. In one of the rows, he saw the words, Emperor's Scripture, written as the title. Does the sect have other emperor scriptures? Of course, replied his father. Where did they come from? And why have I never heard of them before? A few of them came from destroyed lineages, some came from predecessors who were lucky enough to the legacy of a great emperor, and the remaining ones came from other worlds. As for the reason that you never heard of them, there are two. One, none of these scriptures are considered orthodox, so we usually hide them. Well, not just us, but most emperor lineages do the same. You guys are just too old fashioned, replied Wang Wei. Wang Tian glared at him, then said, the second and most important reason is the fact that all these scriptures are somewhat incomplete. What do you mean? Asked Wang Wei with a frown on his face. All the emperor scriptures are unique and can be considered relics because they have been baptized by the Tao Rime of their creators. The Tao Rime allows people to more easily understand these scriptures. Even when copies of the originals are made, they still contain the Tao Rimes. However, those scriptures that were taken outside do not contain Tao Rime so they essentially become very esoteric writings that are hard to learn. Only truly talented individuals could become enlightened on them. Is this some kind of fail-safe that great emperors used to prevent their scripture from being spread? That's correct. In that case, what about the sect's predecessors who rightfully got these emperor scriptures? They must have done so through trial or because they were fated with them, wouldn't they have access to the original scriptures and Tao rhymes? Asked Wang Wei. You would think so. But no most scriptures left as inheritance are usually created by loose cultivator emperors or the ones with no faction or attraction to the mortal realm. As such, when they leave their inheritance, the first person who gets it usually absorbs all the Tao rhymes in the book to help their enlightenment. And in certain cases, the scripture would be immediately destroyed afterward, and bans will be placed in their souls to prevent them from leaking them. Of course, this is just the extreme case. Chapter 295 Mysterious Force 
After briefly explaining the rules and origin of the secret archive to Wang Wei, Wang Tian and the other upper echelon of the sect began to gather all information or knowledge regarding Buddhism. A few hours later, a small pile of books and jade talismans was placed in front of Wang Wei. That's it? He asked. Although this amount looked large, compared to the amount of information regarding other subjects, this was quite disappointing. You should be glad that our sect has so much information left. As you know, information about Buddhism was mostly lost after the incense era, replied Wang Tian. Wang Wei nodded his head, sat cross-legged on the floor, opened a book, and read it. However, a few minutes later, a frown appeared on his face. He then quickly opened many of the books, used his divine sense to read some of the jade talismans. The reason for his odd behavior was that he quickly realized that he could not understand the words in these books. He knew the language they were written in, but every time he focused on them, a vague shadow seemed to cover his mind, making it impossible to understand what he was reading. Additionally, Wang Wei realized that he could not remember any of the things he read. A few seconds after reading anything, the information seemed to vanish from his mind. With his perfect memory and powerful soul, this was very odd. So, he raised his head to look at his family. His father raised his shoulder and said, This is a normal situation for anything related to Buddhism. And according to our records, this phenomenon is the same in different worlds across different world communities. So powerful? Everyone nodded their heads. Is there a way to go around it? Otherwise, this whole plan will be obsolete. Well, one of our ancestors left a passage telling future descendants how to deal with the situation. Wang Chong then handed Wang Wei a scroll. He opened it and read a single phrase inside the entire page. Only those who have Buddha in their hearts can become enlightened. That's it? He asked. More importantly, why so cryptic? No one could give him an answer. By now, Wang Wei was used to his ancestors always being cryptic and esoteric when doing things. Even he has started to become that way since he began controlling the power of fate. Taking a deep sigh, Wang Wei closed his eyes and entered a deep state of meditation. In his mind, he began to picture a massive golden Buddha in his mind based on a statue he saw in his previous life. The golden Buddha was vast, majestic, and had a benevolent smile on his face. He gave the feeling that he wanted to save all sentient beings, and guide them to escape the shackles of reincarnation by becoming enlightened. While Wang Wei was picturing the Golden Buddha, the same figure appeared in his sea of consciousness. Then, Wang Wei unconsciously chanted, Namo Amitabhaya Tathataya. As soon as he said these words, seven golden lights flew from his seven chakra and entered his sea of consciousness to blend with the Golden Buddha. Following this, the Buddha left Wang Wei's sea of consciousness and manifested in the real world. It exuded a golden light that enveloped the entire secret archive, and everyone that the lights touched felt peaceful, their minds at ease like they were in the embrace of their loving mother. Then, they felt like a heavy weight or burden was lifted from their shoulders. Immediately, these people checked their bodies and discovered that the cultivation bottleneck that they were facing loosened up a little. As for the true monarchs, they felt like the hidden injuries inside their bodies were healed slightly, thus increasing their lifespan. Even a quasi-emperor like Wang Chong felt the same. The upper echelons of the sect smiled after seeing this, thinking that not only had Wang Wei succeeded, but also benefited from this experience. Unfortunately for them, their happy smiles did not last long. A few seconds after the Golden Buddha manifested, Everything in the small world that the secret archive was located in suddenly stopped moving as if frozen in time. Even Wang Chong, the person with the highest cultivation in the room, was also frozen in time. Then, a mighty and mysterious force seemed to descend into the room. The first thing it did was destroy the Golden Buddha, then it entered Wang Wei's mind trying to forcefully eradicate all his memories and knowledge regarding Buddhism. During the entire process, Wang Wei was incapable of moving or doing anything. Although his mind still worked properly, he could not do anything at all. Even his soul was useless at this moment. However, something else in his body did work. It was the will granted by him from the Du Yu realm. The will manifested itself in his own and resisted the mysterious force that was invading Wang Wei's mind. Unfortunately, it was too weak. Knowing this, the will immediately fused with Wang Wei's soul, then used its power to resist, and it was somewhat successful. Nevertheless, it just managed to delay the time that mysterious force took effect. While all of this was happening, Wang Wei, 
for the first time in a very long time, felt very powerless. He suddenly remembered his confrontation at the last trial in the pagoda. How weak and helpless he was against that giant hand. Then, a wave of intense anger overcame him thinking about the misery he suffered at that time. And with that anger, came another powerful will residing inside his body, his own will. It was the will that could defy the odds, make the impossible possible. It was the will he used to make the wrath of heaven bleed even though this should not be possible. Then, Wang Wei snorted. The snort echoed throughout the secret archive before traveling throughout the entire small world. And the snort was not about to stop. It seemed to want to travel further into the void, to echo throughout all heaven and myriad worlds. Unfortunately, or fortunately, countless runes suddenly appeared to surround the small world to prevent it from traveling far. Nevertheless, even those runes trembled and cracked before stopping it. As for the person who used them, she became pale for a moment, then a small trace of blood slid down the corner of her mouth. However, Wu Hong quickly wiped the blood, then used some secret technique to return her pale complexion to normal. Meanwhile, after Wang Wei snorted, he used his own will to instantly crush that mysterious force. Then, everyone could finally move again. But they all had a look of horror on their faces. What was that? Asked Yu Yan. No one answered her. Of course, she knew that this was a rhetorical question. Well, she was wrong. That's the absolute beginning magic, replied Wu Hong. Everyone then looked at her. The absolute beginning emperor had an unnatural hatred for Buddhism, so after becoming an eternal emperor, he cast a magic that cut off the beginning of Buddhism, thus eradicating them from existence. Anything related to Buddhism will be wiped out by the magic. Wu Hong suddenly paused. Now that I think about it, there is something wrong with this situation. Whether it is your seven chakra system or the manifested Buddha, none of that should be possible under this magic. Unless it was broken, or someone discovered a loophole in it. Is that a bad thing? Asked Wang Wei. Not really. I'm just thinking that this guy spent all his life fighting the Buddhist sect to the point of him even being killed, and yet, someone still managed to crack his magic. I can imagine him fuming in his grave responded Wu Hong with a smirk. The absolute beginning emperor is dead? Asked Yu Yan in surprise. Well, yes and no to beings like him, death is not really the end. It's more like he's in a state of existence and non-existence. Limbo. Well, it's more complex than that, but you can think of it that way. The people nodded but did not ask any further. By now, they were used to Wu Hong's mystery or strangeness, and many of them had different theories on her real identity. Although a lot of people did not fully trust her because of this, they trusted Wang Wei's ability to judge people. After this brief chat, Wang Wei was prepared to go back to his reading. However, an old man suddenly appeared in the room and said, What's going on here? What just happened? Wang Wei was instantly on alert as this old man was a true monarch. However, his father just raised his hand to motion him to calm down. This supreme elder Li Tan. He's the guardian of the secret archive, explained Wang Tian. Then, he went to explain the situation to Li Tan. After hearing the entire story, the old man nodded, then, without saying anything else, he disappeared. Don't mind, said Wang Tian. His personality has always been like that. Wang Wei just nodded his head as he did not care about things like that since he had more important work to do. Chapter 296. Bulk Mail. After this weird encounter with the absolute beginning magic, Wang Wei returned back to the pile of books. However, unlike before, he had no problem reading or memorizing the contents, it seemed that his method worked. So, he spent the next few weeks going over every detail regarding Buddhism in order to find a way to use incense to refine his soul. Did you find the method? Asked his father. No, responded Wang Wei as he shook his head. All I learned was that some Buddhist monks in that era used something called, sentient being flame, to refine their souls. This flame was created from gathering incense from all living beings, hence the name. So, it was no use. Not necessarily. Although I did not find the method, I did come up with an idea on how to succeed. Everyone's eyes lit up after hearing this, then they gathered around him to wait for his explanation. Then, Wang Wei explained to them the step-by-step -step plan that he came up with in the past few days. Everyone was quiet after hearing this, trying to process the information they just received. Well, although your plan is a little crazy, it might work, said Wang Tian. However, there are still a few things that are needed, 
they won't be easy to acquire. The hardest part would be getting your hands into the origin pill flame scripture, said Yu Yan. Fu Keiyun is a nasty individual. The reason that he's the only one able to cultivate that scripture is not only because of his talent, but because he secretly killed any talented alchemists that have any remote chance of overcoming him. Plus, there is the fact that the origin pill flame scripture requires both a high talent for alchemy and an unprecedented devotion to pill Dao. Although your talent in alchemy might meet the requirement, you only minor in pill Dao. I have taken into account the problem of the scripture and have a plan for that, replied Wang Wei. As for Fu Keiyun, I'll deal with him after infiltrating the origin pill Dao sect. Everyone nodded with him, then Wu Hong handed him a book. This is a devil technique on how to cultivate the sin flame. Since incense power contains the power of emotion, this might help you. Wang Wei's eyes lit up after hearing this as he thought of something. He motioned everybody to quiet down, then took out a communication talisman. Hopefully, she is not in retreat, muttered Wang Wei. A few seconds later, a beautiful woman with green hair appeared in front of him. She exuded an unnatural charm that would make any man tempted with just a look. Young Master Wang Wei, what took you so long to contact me? I thought you had forgotten poor little me. Young Lady Su Ya, as you can guess, I've been busy cultivating and time flew by. I'm sorry that I did not contact you sooner. Man, all of you always have an excuse. So, to what I owe this sudden call? Couldn't I just want to talk to a beautiful woman? Why do you think that I want something from you? As much as I would want to flirt with you, I'm currently busy, so go on with your business. Plus, I'm sure your Dao partner would not appreciate your actions. Wang Wei gave a slight glance at Wu Hong, however, she had a calm look on her face throughout the entire process. Couldn't she just fake being jealous? In that case, I'll be direct. I'm calling you for an exchange. I want your understanding to turn emotions into flames. That's an odd request. Why would you want something like that? I don't think that information has anything to do with our exchange. True. So, what do I get in return? I have a rare devil race cultivation from the devil era that turns sins and depravity into flame. I think that's a fair exchange. Su Ya was slightly surprised as this exchange was indeed worth it as she could get something so precious from ancient time. After pondering for a moment, she said. Unfortunately, I'll have to decline. This time, it was Wang Wei who was surprised. Why? This is a fair trade. In fact, you would benefit more in this transaction. Exactly. From what I know about you, you are not the kind of person that likes to suffer losses, even a small amount. Since you're willing to do so for an exchange, this means that what you want is either truly valuable or very important. So, no matter what, I'll prevent you from getting it. After all, you already have so many advantages ahead of us heaven chosen in this generation, there is no need for you to have more, replied Su Ya with a gentle smile on her face. Wang Wei's eyes turned cold, but the smile on his face still remained. I'm a man who always gets what he wants, Lady Su Ya. Since trading does not work, let's try blackmail. Hee <laughs> hee, I would like to see what you use to blackmail me. If I'm not mistaken, said Wang Wei slowly. At this moment, you should be laying out your plans to kill Jian Wushuang. Su Ya squinted her eyes, then laughed out loud with her melodious voice echoing from the talisman. Young Master Wang Wei, if you think that telling Jian Wushuang my plan can be used as blackmail, then you've greatly underestimated my abilities. Is that so? Answered Wang Wei. In that case, let me tell you a little story. There was this little orphan girl born in a small village. Because her parents died young, she was always made fun of by the children of the village. Luckily for her, she was born with a special physique, so she could charm these children and make them do her bidding. Nevertheless, her trauma from being made fun of for not having any parents remained her heart. Until one day, an immortal like lady recognized her talent and took her to the path of cultivation. This little girl was very talented in cultivation, and always bested her peers. She was popular amongst her sect's disciples, and she managed to attain a very high status. However, there was something missing in her life, parental love. The little girl always looked at her master who brought her into the path of cultivation as a mother figure. However, her master was always cold and detached, treating her as nothing but a tool to make the sect prosper. However, one day, the little girl created a plan to deal with the sect's other heaven chosen. After her master saw the plan, because it had a sense of poetic justice, 
The master was pleasantly surprised. For the first time in her life, the little girl saw her master smile, received her compliment. For the first time in her life after her parents' death, she received the maternal love she had been dreaming about. What do you think about this story? Su Ya looked at Wang Wei with fury in her eyes. If eyes could kill, she would completely annihilate every single particle of his existence. Send someone with a contract and the technique, and make sure to add the condition to keep your stinking mouth shut. After saying that, she disconnected the talisman. Immediately after that, Su Ya threw a temper tantrum in her cultivation room, destroying everything in sight. As for Wang Wei, he smirked as he muttered. People who play with emotions are always easily influenced by it. Sometimes I forget how devious you can be, commented Yu Yan with a slight smile. You are definitely my son. It's good that you can use your head to deal with problems instead of your swords. She was looking at Wang Tian after saying the last part. However, the sect master ignored his wife. Although he was like that in his younger years, after years of being a sect master, he also became a cunning old fox. What's the next step? Asked Wang Tian. Next, I need to divine something. Wang Wei then took out the eight trigram turtle shell from his space ring. He used his fate power to activate. Immediately after that, he found himself in a river made of uncountable lines. At the center of the river was a spinning wheel creating more strings. This was the river of fate. Standing on the river, Wang Wei closed his eyes to feel something, then he plunged his hand on the river to take out a single string. Immediately afterward, he opened his eyes, which glowed gray. I need someone to go to this coordinate and find this world, said Wang Wei. I'll go, said Wang Chong. That way, it would be faster. Then, he broke the space and entered the endless void. Using his powerful quasi-emperor cultivation realm, he began rapid successive teleportation with each teleportation taking him a few million light years away. Chapter 297. Strange World. After spending an entire day constantly teleporting, Wang Chong realized that the coordinate of this world was farther than he anticipated. The only reason he did not use a void boat was because he was faster than it, but even with his cultivation technique, he knew that he might take a while to get there. Not wanting to waste time, he took out a space treasure from his space ring, then crushed it with his bare hand. The destruction of the treasure created a large amount of spatial energy. So, Wang Chong used this energy to support his teleportation. Previously, he could only teleport a few million light years in a single instance, not he could teleport a few billion light years. As such, by constantly destroying space treasure and using such a wasteful method, Wang Chong arrived at his destination in just six days instead of six months. After arriving at the coordinate, Wang Chong immediately noticed something odd about the world he was sent to discover. Unlike the majority of worlds that were covered by a transparent dome, this one was covered by a crystal wall. With an intriguing look on his face, he approached it before using his divine sense to scan for some information. Huh! muttered Wang Chong with a slight surprise. After scanning with his divine sense, he could only acquire two pieces of information. One, this world is only a middle thousand world. Two, this world is larger than most greater thousand worlds, even approaching heaven will worlds in size. What puzzled Wang Chong was the fact that he could not gather any information with how powerful his divine sense is. So, he decided to check it out himself. Wang Chong rushed straight into the world. Bang! He was bounced back by the crystal wall, preventing him from entering. Interesting, muttered Wang Chong, who then clenched his fist and hit the world barrier. Boom. The barrier trembled slightly, but nothing happened. This time, Wang Chong was truly surprised. His attack was at the level of void shattering realm, and since this world is only a middle thousand world, the highest level of cultivator it can hold is the primordial spirit realm. As such, his attack should not only break the shield, but shake the entire world. With great interest, Wang Chong began to increase the strength of each of his attacks. However, even after using an attack at the level of supreme, the crystal wall shook for a moment before blocking the attack. In anger, Wang Chen called his Dharma body and fused it with himself, then used the most powerful attack of his overlord fist. Tyrant Sovereign Fist. A massive explosion occurred in the void, spreading to a few hundred million light years away. A few world remnants that were floating in the void were instantly annihilated by the shockwave of that attack. Unfortunately, Wang Chang's attack, 
which was strong enough to even destroy a great thousand world or at least, severely injure one, was blocked the crystal shield, and it was quite easy too. Floating in the empty void, Wang Chong had a serious look on his face as he realized the seriousness of the situation. He began to think to himself. There is only way for such a thing to be possible. One of the great emperors from our world or a Tao ancestor placed that shield on this world. However, the question is why? Well, it's not necessarily them. This world is very far away. To be exact, it's located at the intersection of our world community with another. So, there is the possibility that someone from another world community came here and placed that protection. After coming to this conclusion, he pondered whether to retreat as things got a little too complicated. However, an idea popped in his head, so he decided to try it before returning to the sect. He took out a demonic beast from his space ring before sending it inside the world. And unlike when he tried, the beasts easily passed through the crystal wall. Wang Chang's eyes lit up, then he tried a few more times. Some beasts managed to enter, while some did not. So, he muttered. So, that's how it is. Since this world is a middle thousand world, the shield only allows people in the primordial spirit realm and below to enter. I guess the person who made this shield wanted to protect this world from foreign invasion. After coming to this conclusion, Wang Chong took out a bunch of materials from his space ring to create a teleportation array connecting to the Tao opening sect. A few days later, he finished and teleported back. After Wang Chang's return, another meeting took place in Tianwei Peak. Everyone had a serious look on their faces while analyzing the information that they received. Personally, I think it would be best to choose another world, said Great Elder Li Zhang. This world seemed to be too mysterious and might create too many variables. However, Wang Wei shook his head. I divine this world as the one with the highest chance of success, and the information has proven that I was right. Indeed, this world is only a middle thousand world, but as large as some weak heaven will world. So, the population should be relatively large, commented Yu Yan. The question now is what do we do with the cultivation level restriction? Easy. Just send Li Jun and Tai Gang. It's about time that they moved their muscles around, replied Wang Wei. That's a good method, however, the plan will take longer than previously expected if we do that, added Wang Tian. Anyway, we have plenty of time, there is no need to hurry. Soon after the meeting ended, Li Jun and Tai Gang were summoned and given information about the world they were going to and their mission there. Then, they immediately organized their armies and used the teleportation array that Wang Chong made to teleport to the void next to the strange world. In order to make things easier for them, Wang Wei even sent Wang Ju and a few elites of the Shadow Guards to help them with information. As for Wang Wei, after the group left, he pretended to enter a retreat while disguising himself and secretly traveling to the southern Vermilion Bird Continent. The next step of his plan lay there. Chapter 298, The Southern Continent Dao Opening Sect Wu Hong looked at Wang Wei departing back deep in thought. According to the original timeline, Wang Wei was supposed to lose the power of his paragon soul after entering reincarnation. Although he was still granted exceptional talent because of it, it was nothing compared to now. Additionally, the memories of his past life were not supposed to be reawakened until he entered the saint realm. Now, everything is different. And with my memories incomplete, the amount of things I can do to help is decreasing with each passing day. Nevertheless, there are a few things that remain the same in this timeline. For example, DTN being his main obstacle and a few other things. Although I cannot stop DTN for him, I can still prevent some of the tragedies he suffered before and make sure that he does not become someone corrupted by revenge. After thinking like this, he left the sect and headed to the western white tiger continent. Meanwhile, Wang Wei changed his hair and eye color and turned into a completely different person before leaving the sect. This time, he was not accompanied by Yan Chen. The reason for that is that it is easier for him to be caught with his Tao protector accompanying him. Another is that his strength has reached the point that he did not really need a Tao protector anymore. With this current power, only a few peak supreme realm powerhouses and quasi-emperor can pose a threat to him. And if he focused all his attention on escaping, he has a very high chance to do so. After disguising himself, Wang Wei headed to Tao Preaching City, which was the main city of the Tao opening sect located at the foot of the mountain. As he walked in the streets, he saw most mortals had happy and healthy lives. They spoke like educated people, had lights in their houses, 
drove cars, constructs, or used trains or planes to travel long distances. Cultivators could also be seen everywhere in the city, living peacefully with mortals. Wang Wei secretly nodded in satisfaction after seeing this, then he headed to the south of the city where the transcontinental teleportation array was located. After arriving at his destination, he used a guess elder token of the Dao opening sect to get priority access to the array and a discount on the price. After paying a large sum of money, he had to wait another three days before it was time for the array to be activated. When the day arrived, Wang Wei used the array along with a few other merchants and cultivators that were headed to the south as well. Standing in front of the array, a flash of light enveloped him and Wang Wei felt like he was inside a dishwasher for a brief moment, then, he was standing on a completely different platform. A few of the merchants that came with him started vomiting on the floor, while some of the cultivators had a pale look on their faces. Wang Wei gave these people a look before ignoring them and leaving. The persona he was playing was of a cold and indifferent man, a man of few words. After leaving the teleportation area, Wang Wei began to visit this city. The first thing he noticed was the strange smell that seemed to envelop the city. It was the smell of medicine. The second thing he noticed was that there were a large number of professionals, whether it was alchemist, talisman makers, refiners, etc. All of them had a pin of their clothes. The pin will have a tear written on it, followed by low, middle, or top. However, so far, Wang Wei has mostly seen low-tier individuals, while the highest person he encountered was middle tier 2. From what he knows, the tier referred to the grade of the individual in his profession. Tier 1 is profound grade, tier 2 is earth grade, tier 3 is heaven grade. This division is to show what grade of products that a professional can refine. For example, a top tier 2 alchemist can refine top grade earth grade pills, which is used by primordial spirit realm cultivators. Tier 3 alchemists can refine heaven grade pills, tier 4 saint pills, tier 5 supreme pills, tier 6 quasi emperor pills, and tier 7 emperor grade pills. After taking time to quickly understand the ins and outs of this city, Wang Wei rented a room at an inn. While sitting on his bed, he kept flipping through a paper containing a list. Then, he stopped at one page and focused on it. Lu Cheng, Divine Altar Realm, Low Level Tier 2 Alchemist. The Fifth Disciple of Origin Dao Pill Sect Master, Lu Yang. Talent is above average, but is loved by his master because of his diligence. After reading the information, Wang Wei muttered to himself, this guy is the perfect candidate. His status is high enough, but not too high considering his master has many disciples. His personality is reticent, so he barely interacts with people in the sect, even with his fellow brothers and sisters. This is good. People do not have a real lasting impression of him. So, as long as I found the proper excuse, it can explain any changes in his personality. He paused for a moment as he reviewed all the information he had on this guy. His talent is a problem. If I want to get my hands on the origin pill flame scripture, I will need to display a higher level of talent. After reviewing the information at hand, he made a plan. Origin pill sect. Inside a cave of one of the mountains, an ordinary looking teenager with dark hair and eyes sat cross legged with a cauldron in front of him. He was deep in concentration, refining a pill. A few minutes later, he opened the lid to see five pills floating inside. Mysterious lights flashed from then. Looking at the five pills inside, he smiled. Five low-level earth pills, muttered Lu Cheng. Finally, I've managed to secure my strength as a tier 2 alchemist. Although my talent is not the best, I can make it up with hard work. In fact, Lu Cheng's talent was not that bad. Most alchemists can only refine certain pill grades based on their cultivation. As for him, being a peel divine altar cultivator that can refine low-level earth grade pills, which only supernatural realm alchemists could refine, show that he has some talent. After refining the pill, Lu Cheng took out another set of ingredients to make another pill. However, midway through, he was interrupted by a communication talisman. So, he stopped to activate it. Young master, the ingredient you asked the Alchemy Association to find for you has been discovered. Really? Immediately bring it over. I can finally break through the supernatural realm. Though Lu Cheng to himself. Young master, there seemed to be some problem. What problem? The owner of the material is asking to meet you personally, he seemed rather adamant. Lu Cheng frowned after hearing this. Could there be something tricky behind this? However, without that herb, 
I cannot break through to the next realm, unless I change cultivation technique. After pondering for a moment, Lu Cheng decided to go. Nevertheless, he still took precautions. After leaving his cultivation cave, he used a flying talisman to go to another place and meet someone. A few minutes after arriving, an old man with the aura of void shattering appeared in front of Lu Cheng. Young master, what brings you here to see me? Asked the old man with indifference and a little impatience. I'm heading to Maple Leaf City. Well, since I'm your Dao protector, it is my job to protect you, said the old man. Then, without saying anything, he grabbed Lu Cheng and flew outside the perimeter of the sect. Once there, he used the power of law to break the space so that they could arrive at their destination at a quicker pace. During the entire process, Lu Cheng did say anything, nor complained. He was used to his Dao protector's attitude by now. This is one of the reasons that he rarely left the sect. After arriving at Maple Leaf City, the Dao protector was prepared to enter the void to secretly protect Lu Cheng, but the latter quickly explained to him the situation and his worry about the encounter. The old man grunted before finally deciding to stay next to Lu Cheng to protect him at all times. He knew that if this little alchemist was still the disciple of the sect master. If something happened to him, he would have to answer to the sect, and even if the sect master did not blame him, he would no longer receive as many pills that he does now in the future, thus halting his cultivation progress. Plus, the old man took into account the fact that Lu Cheng never complained about him all these years. Chapter 299. Infiltration. After arriving at Maple Leaf City, Lu Cheng did not immediately contact the seller, but instead used the branch of the Alchemy Association to find his identity, he did not want to walk into a trap. After a brief investigation, he discovered that the seller was just an ordinary cultivator at the body refining realm. In order to get resources, he will often go to the mountain area to fight against demonic beasts and sell their core and corpse for origin stones. Luckily for him, while there, he accidentally discovered a rare herb and wanted to sell it for a high price at the Alchemy Association. However, after learning that an alchemist had posted a call for this herb, he was adamant about meeting him. After reviewing the information, Lu Cheng realized that there was nothing wrong so far and that the seller most likely wanted to ask him for some rare pill, so he decided to meet the man. If the price is not too exaggerated, he is open to trade. Inside a large room in the Alchemy Association branch, Lu Cheng looked at the man in front of him. He was wearing tight leather clothes that facilitated easy movement, and also had some defensive ability. However, he could also see that the man's clothes were also worn out. After checking the man's clothes, Lu Cheng observed other things about him. The man had a ninth layer body refining cultivation, however, his blood chi was weak and scattered. Obviously, he cultivated a common level cultivation technique. Adding to that the fact that he looked middle aged, his talent could also be determined as subpar. You said you wanted to see me before the exchange. Tell me your purpose, said Lu Cheng, who seemed a little impatient. The seller frowned for a moment, then said, Well, I was preparing to play a little more, however, since you're in a hurry, I guess I'll get back to business. Immediately, Lu Cheng felt something was wrong. He immediately wanted to do something, but to his horror, he discovered that he could not move a single inch. Meanwhile, his Dao protector also felt something was wrong, so he wanted to exit the void and save Lu Cheng. However, as soon as he had this intention, countless strings suddenly appeared out of nowhere and binds him. The old man immediately started to use his fire law to break the strings, however, countless runes suddenly appeared from the strings and sealed the law inside his body. Then, a grey string entered his sea of consciousness and binds his soul. Immediately afterward, the old man felt his consciousness rapidly losing, turning him into a puppet. He only resisted for a few seconds before he was completely turned. The seller, who had a smirk on his face, raised his hand and placed it on Lu Cheng's forehead, then he said. Fate stealing. A fate line appeared from Lu Cheng's body, wriggling around it for a moment. Then, another fate line appeared from Wang Wei's body which fused with his. Lu Cheng's body disintegrated into millions of pieces, meanwhile, Wang Wei slowly transformed into Lu Cheng's appearance. And it was not just his appearance, his soul, cultivation level, physique, aptitude, and memories turned into the same as Lu Cheng. What he did was steal the latter's fate, thus turning into him. With this method, Wang Wei is now Lu Cheng, but Lu Cheng is not Wang Wei. After his transformation, Wang Wei checked his body from head to toe. 
he discovered that he was exactly like Lu Cheng. Even his little brother had shrunk by a few inches. Well, with this method, I can even fool an emperor formation that checks the soul. Then, Wang Wei waved his hand to use a secret technique to create a clone that looked exactly like the previous seller. He proceeded to make it look like Lu Cheng and he had an exchange before parting their ways. Since Lu Cheng was staying in a special room reserved for him by the Alchemy Association, Wang Wei returned there. The first thing he did once he returned home was to check all of Lu Cheng's memories. According to the technique he used, he could allow Lu Cheng's main consciousness to be in charge of this body while he stayed in the background, but he did not want to do this for many reasons. Although this method was safe and lowered the risk of being discovered due to strange and out of character behavior, he wanted to be in charge in case something unexpected occurred and the real consciousness of Lu Cheng is powerless. After checking the guy's memory, Wang Wei muttered, No wonder this guy actually took my bait. It turns out that he cultivates a special technique that can actually raise his talent of alchemy. Talent in alchemy can be divided into three categories, understanding of herbs and how they interact with one another. This part of talent can be made up with years of study, however, some talented individuals can hold a herb in their hands for the first time and immediately know its characteristics and how to match it with other herbs. The second category revolves around divine runes and how to properly apply them to make pills. Lastly, it is the talent to control flames. The better an alchemist is at controlling flames, the more power he or she can bring from the ingredients used in making pills. The cultivation that Lu Cheng cultivated allowed him to slowly increase his talent for flame control. However, Wang Wei quickly realized that this cultivation technique was incomplete. Furthermore, after reviewing how Lu Cheng got this technique, his intuition told him that something was wrong. Unfortunately, he did not have enough information to make any kind of judgment. After reviewing all of Lu Cheng's memories, Wang Wei did not immediately return to the origin Pil Dao sect but went to the east of Maple Leaf City where there were many street vendors selling artifacts that were supposedly found in Secret Realm. He bought a very ancient small mirror. With his true vision ability, he knew that this was just a normal mirror, not an ancient artifact from the ancient emperor era like the street vendor said. The reason he bought this mirror was that he realized that it was actually very old, probably dating to the last era and further. After that, Wang Wei took a carriage heading back. In fact, Wang Wei wanted to take a soaring phoenix construct. Unfortunately, in Lu Cheng's memory, he discovered that this guy was quite old-fashioned and hated the constructs. He did not like the fact that mortals and cultivators' lives became entangled with one another. To him, these two people belong to different worlds and should remain as such. So, when it comes to these constructs that brought these different worlds together, he refused to use any of them. Wang Wei was not surprised by this as many cultivators felt that way. To them, the world was changing too fast and they did not like that. Huh? Softly muttered Wang Wei as he felt something. He raised his head and looked in the distance. His vision seemed to penetrate a few hundred thousand kilometers as he saw five saints realm cultivators blending in the void, hiding their auras. Although they try to hide it, I can feel that these guys have killing intent for this Lu Cheng. It seemed that things are not peaceful in the origin Pil Dao sect. Wang Wei thought for a moment about how to deal with the situation before deciding to get rid of these people. His current priority was to get back to the sect and secure his identity. So, he flicked his fingers making the void tremble lightly. Then, another space fluctuating appeared on the location of these saints. As a result, they immediately felt something was wrong and wanted to react. However, a bunch of strings suddenly appeared and cut them into millions of pieces. They did not have time to scream, move, or open their domains for protection. Even their primordial spirit did not have time to escape their bodies and was cut into pieces. Nodding his head in satisfaction, Wang Wei continued his journey in peace. However, he did not slowly go there as he planned. Instead, he had his Tao protector carry him back as he did previously. As soon as Wang Wei arrived at the origin Pil Dao sect, the first thing he noticed was that the sect was built on top of countless volcanoes, making the surrounding area always surrounded by heat. Inside these volcanoes were caves where most of the lower disciples resided. This was a way to allow the ones with low levels of cultivation to use the heat from the volcano to make pills. After all, only after entering the divine sea realm can cultivators use spells. After taking a quick look at the surroundings, Wang Wei headed straight to the cave on the highest peak. Chapter 300. Landing. 
Wang Wei headed to the highest cave of the Origin Pil Dao sect. At the entrance, he accidentally met a young man wearing a red robe coming out. The young man smiled after seeing Wang Wei and said, Fifth brother, why are you here? Second brother, it's you. I'm here to see the master, replied Wang Wei. Is there a problem? No, I just encountered some problems about alchemy and wanted to ask for the master's guidance. Is that so? Then, I won't hold you. After that, he flew away. Nevertheless, the fifth brother felt like his younger brother was different today. He shook his head thinking that he might be too sensitive. Meanwhile, as Wang Wei watched his brother, whose name was Zhang Li, fly away, he noticed that the latter might have discovered something strange about him, or at least, had a slight suspicion. He took a moment to ponder what was the problem before realizing the crux of the problem. Although he looked exactly like Liu Cheng down to his soul and fate, his temperament was not the same. Wang Wei always had an air of confidence and cockiness around him. Adding to that his overwhelming strength, his temperament is unique. As such, even if he turned into Liu Cheng, his previous temperament was affecting his current body. So, after realizing the problem, he quickly adjusted himself. Although he could fool his second brother, now that he was about to meet his master who was a Saint Realm true person, it is easier to be exposed. On the spot, Wang Wei's temperament changed to a secretly prideful alchemist that is quite conservative. Then, he entered the cave. He notified his master through a talisman and stood up waiting. Half an hour later, a middle-aged man with slightly dark skin suddenly appeared in the room Wang Wei was in. However, he pretended that he did not notice. After all, his current identity was that of a little divine altar realm cultivator. Little Cheng, what brings you to see me today? M Master, stuttered Wang Wei as he slightly jumped backward. Then, he cupped his hand and bow, Disciple has seen Master. There is no need to be polite with me, replied Yi Lao, the sect master of the origin Pil Dao sect. With a smile on his face, he said, You rarely leave your alchemy room, unless you have a question of alchemy. So, what is this time? Yi Lao was very satisfied with his fifth disciple. Although his talent was not the best amongst all the others, he was the most diligent. With effort alone, he managed to make up the gap with some genius alchemist. Master, something strange happened to me recently. When I was in Maple Leaf City, I bought a strange mirror. However, a weird light came from it and entered my body. I am worried that something might be wrong. Yi Lao frowned after hearing this, let me check. A powerful divine sense came from his body, scanning Wang Wei's body. At first, he did not find anything, but once he arrived at the spleen, he discovered a weird breath. A slight surprise flashed in Yi Lao's eyes, then he said, let me see the mirror. Wang Wei quickly handed it to him. After checking it, he found a similar breath from Wang Wei's spleen. Then, Yi Lao sighed out loud. Little Cheng, you are truly lucky. If I'm not mistaken, this mirror was baptized by the innate material yellow qi soil and contained its breath, which was then transferred to you. Lu Cheng frowned after hearing this, Master, will I be fine? You do not need to hurry as this is your fortunate encounter. Although only the breath of the yellow qi soil entered your body, it is enough to greatly increase your talent for alchemy. Really? Yi Lao nodded his head, while Lu Cheng smiled to the point of grinning. However, immediately after, he realized that his action was not proper, so he forced himself to calm down and displayed the proper etiquette. Sect Master Yi Lao looked at his disciple and sighed internally, he was slightly envious of Liu Cheng's luck. Did anyone else notice when you absorbed the innate breath? No, I was alone in my room. What about the mirror? Who else saw you buy it? Only my Tao protector was with me. Are you talking about Old Man Mountain? Well, over the years, he has been neglectful on his duty. It's about time that you have a new and more powerful Tao protector. Thank you, Master. If this was the real Lu Cheng, he would have thought that his master cared about him and wanted to give him a new and more powerful Tao protector. However, Wang Wei knew better and could guess the fate of that old man. Well, you should retreat to completely absorb the remaining innate breath. Remember, do not tell anyone about your encounter, even your fellow brothers and sisters. Huh? Do you understand me? As you wish, master. After saluting to Yi Lao, Lu Cheng activated his flying talisman and returned to his cave. En route, Wang Wei started thinking to himself. I have to say, my acting is quite extraordinary. 
I could probably easily get an Oscar back on Earth. After returning to his cave, he activated the formation to isolate the outside world, then Wang Wei began to plan for his next step. With this excuse, Sect Master Yi Lao should not doubt my sudden increase in talent. So, it should be easier for me to display it and get the chance to get the Origin Pill Flame scripture. However, this is not enough. I should probably find other ways to have fortunate encounters that increase talent. Wang Wei's original plan was to show that he had acquired the innate material yellow chi soil and drastically increase his talent. After all, he had already absorbed it in the cultivation of his organs. However, he feared that sect master Yi Lao would be tempted by an innate material and immediately took it from him by force, use secret methods to kill him and get it, or use the name of contribution to the sect to legally take it from him. So, he decided to just use the breath as an excuse. That way, he could explain his increase in talent, and Yi Lao will not be tempted by a mere breath that has little value to him. I can also use this opportunity to break through the supernatural realm. As he muttered this, he felt the power in his body. This guy is so weak. Despite being the direct disciple of an emperor lineage, he only managed to build a supreme foundation. After shaking his head in disappointment, he closed his eyes to enter a state of cultivation. Meanwhile, in one of the highest caves of the sect, an old man with long white hair and beard had a cauldron in front of him, refining a pill. The power of law could be felt inside the cauldron, which meant that this pill was at least heaven grade. This old man was the person that held the title of the greatest alchemist of this generation, Fu Keiyun. While refining the pill, he seemed to have received some kind of signal or information. Then, he took out a talisman from his space ring. All five saints I sent are dead? And they all died instantly? The old man paused for a moment before muttering. The only way for them to die so quickly is if a true monarch intervened. Could it be that some of the supreme elders are sending me a message asking to be restrained a little? Well, it doesn't matter. I only sent them because I wanted to check something from Lu Cheng. With his talent, he will never be a threat to me. After that, the old man continued with his pill refining. The odd thing was that despite his distraction, the pill refining process did not stop or interrupt. This was how skilled this man was. Endless void. In front of the strange world discovered by the Tao opening sect, Li Jun, Tai Gang, Yan Liling, and Wang Ju floated in space with a massive army behind them. Then, they waved their hands to place the army inside their space rings and entered this strange world. A firm determination could be seen in their faces as they knew the significance of their actions in this world. As such, they were prepared to succeed no matter the cost.